Bishop Thais of Africa, His Lordship, Enoch Atubaidia, JP, to take the opening prayers. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Oyewa take Boma tokoni teki chama sme pray so dear time na na tibi bi me. Eya free go go ipiki bi me. Mi abaka na na ni bi bel ma me na na. Mi ne wa kri kap ma. Meng bai wo kubri ma me. Se ni wa bo o kwai wo na se bi pi bel ma bolu ma. Yambo yere bo kri kri amama bi na se ma bi na. Wa paka bo se ni meng ba. Ogwa mami di ebo kubri masa. Ere fia fia teme bo furi sini nenda mi ebi ayo furi. Ani ere chwe white kesi bi me. Bo mi anga mi nena si me. E kasi tebe tabo wonso sini mi kubri mami wonso pray. Aski yana bo. Mi anga na bi abo kwenye kwenye kwenye. Mi anga bel ma bi abe bi kwenye kwenye. Ye ane kriket pesa mi wonso sini barbu bukroma. Tro kumu. Omo bara bi yana seni seni bel mama bel masi wonso kwaso yana bo bo mine na saki mine na weng mamu piki mine na kuluma Jesus Christ wa ena bo be erebo me baka oye wa mina kirimoke all right. All right. Um, well, take a minute. Jama yanabo, so we are ne. Ama yanabo, His Royal Highness King Fred Tiene. Ama yanabo fele. Tibuila. Thank you, sir. Me from Iringere. Mi anga cheke. Wabu jokwa afrimbe swa. Wabu jokwa afrimbe swa. Erena. Moka mo. Se okwa ya mimi. Na okwa mbi apu ane. Wabu miti sobu ane. Borto koko na. Ubu aye erena ba yake. Kwa kwa ya. Mi wabu kaseke. Wabu indo mi borok ma. Black and white radio bi. Ni nizu ke mba yake. Era gugubo maare no. Mira kenari, yang mana barang kacau dah wara ni, obu bela bara, paka. Okey bara apa apa. Pegi, anu bani bi, arus orang kasih kacau dah bo. Ani, amata, princess, Emilia, Tari, Emberu. Mini, ani, Jesse Mio, mana tu minum Mio? Moko, me firm me wengi arubi ana ana korobo me. Wa apo introduce wamu no nevi na bibo me 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 na tibin boy. Me kiri nanga ready to be zana peke tibin boy. Oriane, sa, doctor, Samson fibere sima. Wa kiri me. Oriane wa tagiri diko kumuri chia mbwa tumbole kia mbere. Oriane wa iri me bako furia. O me baka. Me o gubu ya kala itoko sama o bele bara baka ma pre. And you were a sake. Me baka. Ere me anga chebo ma. Owe ni mbara. Beke naya ni rafi edie. Anigo somoko yewa kele beke na efie. Owe ni ganwa pasisi. Ya mwena apu omu ni ganwa. Ya kele beke na efie. Earlier, he had introduced everybody that is important and has made this occasion what it is supposed to be today. Right now, we're going to, into the main program for the day. And it will begin with the chairman's opening remarks. As you all know, the chairman is none other than Chief Adlokie Amiesimaka. I don't want to go into all of the paraphernalia and the details, but he's going to overlook he is going to Hello. say some remarks that will welcome everybody before we start with the program. Chairman, sir, welcome.
Mena Se Ani Mena Se Ani Wakiri Kese Amayanapo Dein Sima Pere Dein Sima Pere Omu ni se Ming Bak Kubiri Ami Chairman Mo Tome Ani in in Abuchi and a facilitators of uh, Wakereke National Congress. Okuma, Erema, Omae Chairman Tom Bobby, Abebo Lake, Kurakayemi, Kurake, Aindena, Mena, Mayana Pumai, Kuru, Maini, Kuru. Soboke and he goes to Ibo Warabia. Mena Mayana Puma Ibo Warabia Susu Mena Mayana Pu. Ibo Warasu me bebe. Okay. Itoro diki se re na dere. Mina ma yap mene rebo. Amu yak pa bubok ma ane doke biya. 100,000 naira in erebo. Amo yi wakrike national congress. Mo pirabe. Mi didi. Omu aru ware alapo. Me na se omu aruware alapo. Aru kreni me, ubo la. Apa apu na ini gubia. Facilitators. Eni ma e. Eni chime. Mi e se mingba. Mi e mi e mi. Aini dena kiri. O kera apu ma. Aru kreni me. Apeke mi e bako obe me. Odi kiso na Eremabo Chairman so Mingba kubi ya mi prembe mi Omi e baka Mina local government chairman At Borobona Mapuna mi uwaraka Aru kreni mo Opu Professor, Professor, ni ma uma odiri kwenye ni wata tongo ya chuo chuo abe. Ata tuto ni msiko tongo ya chuo chuo taka o. Okma odiri kwenye bolu kimi. O tongo ya chuo chuo kabari kabari bi. Okoka. Ani mengine lecture mi go mine prebi ya bobo riye Professor, lawyer. Peke historian e, o peke amanganga bara mo ni mime, Professor Ibibia Lucky Paul Worika, ibola. Yap na kile kala bikena na gua ubiri ni bakuma. Wakrike National Congress still in prospect actually. It be by any Jukuma inauguration. I'm on a me. Upu mai be here. Mini waveri sakioko wani me. Ani me nasimoko ani biloko sone wani me. Ani pao kos me me. Siyeke. So in the beyond this moko, the one name na life itself is dynamic. 
lecture the apple does not fall far from its tree of blessed memory. I think he used to be the proprietor of uh, Sete Productions. The culture and tradition of the Wakereke people. And he was in the forefront championing the cause of the Wakereke. So it is only apt that the lecturer today is his son. Ogobia lecture me, Omnoribia, already did it me over a lamb, Amorime. You know, it's a treasure trove of very useful information. Very useful information. Treasure trove. Wakrike National Congress and a barachwa. Wakerike wa Wakerike must learn from the past. Yes. But we must live in the present. We can't live in the past. We must live in the present and build for the future. We must live in the present and build for the future. We cannot live in the past. I'm reiterating it because that will only stultify our growth. I'll, uh, you know, he who has ears to hear, let him hear. When I send up my ear to go to Okuma, you say Okuma, and you go to Okuma, Papa, you see, but I send up Okuma, baby, you know, Okuma, you need me up, my baby, baby. Let me take Nigeria as an example. We started with two protectorates, northern and southern protectorates. We had the, amalgam the, amal the amalgam am amalgamation and had Nigeria. We then went on to have three regions the north the east and the west we went further to add the midwest making it four same nigeria we went on to have 12 states same one nigeria 19 states 21 states now 36 plus the federal capital territory but still one nigeria nigeria is growing let us learn from that and let us grow too let us grow too The constituent towns and communities of Wakereke say, have come to stay. The constituent towns and communities of Wakereke say, have come to stay. Let us come to terms with that. They've even acquired government recognition it will do us no good to think we can live in the past. We must live in the present. Let us celebrate the commonality of our history, how we started. We can celebrate it.
with uh, this kind of function. Intellectual discourse. Intellectual discourse from time to time. Baba, second attitude, intellectual discourse. Of course, coupled with festivities of our culture. Me settling bow in book my mini name, book my mini see with festivities of our culture. Mimi remarks so, but let me an account. Let me book me a second name and a joke my professor and the guarrier. But I think I take out the opportunity and I will come back. Because I'm your program, you can see there is no provision for any discussion individual discussion or comments on the lecture and that is why i'm using this opportunity to do this but i try not to bore you we can celebrate wakrike serebo come together and celebrate from time to time intellectual discourse yes uh festivities of our culture yes but but we must come to terms with the fact that we have distinct towns and communities in Wakirikese that they have come to stay. We must. And in Garekau, let us allow each other to breathe. Let us allow each other to breathe. Irma, must be over here. Jumbo Bariboma, Jumbo Sen and Julama. No, Irma and Gary, jump on going to be checked. No, what anyway? No, we can't live in the past. We have to live in the present and build for the future. Ami o mi e rebe aye bi aye. Mi na se rebo. Se bi go se. Ngwa, e ma so ni bo. Ngwa, e ma so ni bo. Ngwa, e ma so. And by the time Yes. Not the mami o mi e. Yeah. No. Wadi Kyokuma Isia Sema. Yeah, but I'm gonna get you Tuma. Yeah, I'm gonna get you Tuma. Don't turn your rebel. First class, first class, first class. On this one in Laria. First class, first class, first class, first class. Government in the Ocosme recognition. Of course, I'm gonna give you the Bomina e lokuma. Choko se wa okobiyeka. Choko se. Choko se. E ma first class abi be. Abi ke jumbo bo yanga se me as first class. Why? Ani bi emina se mieke. Let others breathe. We have no choice in the matter. Already wa duka be wa ke na ine ka se the aims and objectives of Yokoma. He already been said because he said because the papa do the papa do go court ma kau do go court ma ke. We must live the talk. We must live the talk and walk the talk. Mina ingari kau wa seni be abebe. Jiama pusone. Jiama bua pusone. Mina neighbors ma. Why nina ibibara anga biyao? Mine ingerike. Mine say yema gwa deme. Mine gwa kurebe. But mine na our neighbors, our neighbors. Why ibibara ini anga biya? Anika ane bufka mine prebiya. Imi odi gwa kuma. I odi biya. Virtually round it. Jine amapu ano miye. Imi yon sobo biya soni. Jine amapu ibo rosolia. 
Non, car donc on s'en voit, c'est que j'ai un mal, n'a pas de Et ne sa, de Dieu, en un souvenir pour quoi? Pas pour moi, n'a pas de mal. des locaux, locaux, en bouffe comme les prévères. En égard? So we must look beyond what cricket say. We should look at the neighbors too. In Ima, we can have cultural exchanges with them. Cultural exchanges. Sports. Sekena sekena. Yapa miya me utoma. Oguna teo. Football. Athletics. Ngba. You know, traditional wrestling. Different sporting activities. Me, 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 Kura. One, Jumu. Jing Kura, in the Such relationships help. They help. Trade relations. Now, uh, WNC, Okona, it's an uh, apolitical organization. And in a politics, you better go care. Uh, even if that is the posture, even if that is the posture of WNC, you see, we cannot live in the past. Though. Political decisions will affect the growth of Wakrikese. If we make wrong political choices, we may suffer. So, a political though WNC may be, it's in our own best interest as leaders of our people to educate our people, not for selfish reasons, which has seemed to be what is in vogue. Not for selfish reasons, but in the interest of us all. Ya bori otoma. Ya bori otoma. Look at our political situation in River State now. Certain decisions were taken by men our former governor. Many people were to go to to go to to go to go to go very unusual. But Nemi and Abiyo, it may be part of your Ilmanipatio-e-be-ya-e-be-ya-e-be-ya-e-be-ya-e-be-ya-e-be-ya-e-be-ya-e-be-ya-e-be-ya-e-be-ya-e-be-ya-e-be-ya-e-be-ya-
at that moment. And in Garekao, Umahi works minister, Obume, physically. 33 billion uh, naira, 33 billion, already Ogbam for the Eleme on a stretch. Chiogosi, and in English, yo! Why don't you know what you may be apolitical, but you cannot rest on your oars and distance yourself from the desires of the people. We are not living in the past. We can't live in the past. But in the present, you need government support. You need government presence. You need government input, input. Therefore, the correct political decisions are imperative. Finally, Apiki Opumiebaka Mose Mina Mayana Pumana Mina Omarwarala Pumana Facilitators Mana Mina Professor Bina Professor Borbanga Jim Professor they haven't seen clues. You know, I'm not going to try me. If not, you have my mind, I'm going to try you. I'm an Irina. Upumiabaka. I'm a Sobeme. Obola. You are killing Mingba lecture me. Biryani Pere. Okuma Dukema. Susu. You are a big bar mama. Omiabaka. 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 Nanga Odukae Mabo, Ere, or Kise Warmuariane Wabare Kerekemis Nobo Dama Taseke Wangabarana, Mioko Wangabarana Kere Waye my Yokona, Taseke Waye my Yokona, Mioko Yema Yokona, Gorbara K. We must not live in the past, we must live in the present. And a second Moko Suasako Pudu Guapreme Benna. The correct political decisions are imperative. Omino kono omino politics si ne mike. Ope ye politics si be so doke ke. O wara ima yaseke ye chukube bora be. Ta ye waba ne mike. Anu go so kele chima ibi toro sara ima biki se ni. Wa iba kwa mo ne mi. Ape kina moko so omino toro koko mo be yana po. Refinery ma. Mena refinery ma. Ne ngi si o. Are wenge kasi kima. Mena abu bakapo, ane firi mene mene abu Arabi oforie. Okele refine na mene bo take my or pack my or duko. Seni anangas mete dao be ora nimi wo nemi. Na na kere kene ma sone ane krimi be ele yana yomi ego se ye mena wara pma so anangas mo firi mene. Ana duko amu kan o o duko kan ka. Ane. Me baka, me baka mo se deme. Ye wa peke toroko damamu. Now we are going to listen to the address of welcome by the chairman of the inauguration committee who has come all the way from the waters and the over the seas to come and fraternize with us and to also say something to us. It is my pleasure to welcome Oh, well, I am just too excited. <laughs> so let us welcome the chairman of the inauguration committee, Tamno Williams Esquire, to give us a welcome of address. And then thereafter, we will just do some kind of interlude because Our respected royal fathers here present, the executive chairman of Ogubolo Local Government Council, the bishop of 
Diocese of Okrika. The member representing Ogubolo House of Assembly. Our respected chiefs here present. Our faith leaders in our midst today. The president of Wakrike USC, who is also the chief facilitator, who flew in all the way from America to be with us, David Solomon. May you rise for recognition, please. Okay, let's for prayer. The chairman of today's occasion, Chief Barrister Adokie Amir Simaka Owolo M O N O L Y J P G M H D S S R S. Welcome, sir. Our respected academic, the lecturer for today's occasion, Professor Ibibia Loki Paul Worika, Director, Center for Advanced Legal Research, River State University. The Moderator for today's lecture, Chief Professor Zeb Obipi, Director, ICT River State University, the chairperson for the Constitution Drafting Committee, and our members here present of the Wakrik National Congress, Dame Barrister. Mina Blessing Benibo, our dear facilitators, captains of industry, repertoires, ladies and gentlemen. I am confused whether I should speak in English or in our native tongue. Okay, the chairman has said I should speak in Okrika. Yeah. Okay, the chairman has said I should speak in Okrika. I Okuma, one name bara and a trakura laye mo okime. Mina minapma, bekanema snapma, and the boy na wokurume na mina wakri karumi, and he buag bai, and he buag bai tuambe. And he be buag bami, buag bami, kalato kusani nimime. In Ibo Bekanama Wakrike USA Convention Yasik Mabo and Ibona Wokrumena and Ibu Bambia Bine Wakrikapma Wa Borubus Messi Ogbo Watan Pakama Bue Mio Bumi and Bo Wakrike Besemi and a day mana and a troko munami go se chia fri wengye. Mimi bo, ini bo tomu ni seleme. Ni piki mianga sima po seleme. Ini piki oloma miya bro sa yama wa seleme. Ini mari piki le diki so siki. Ini ori mena, mine wakri kap ma. Wo pu ma, o pu ma yene me. I am not sure if you are a person who is 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 a person 
ndi bo amain up man world ama mume amain up man gbe ni lakabo fure e ni ye seleke e ni fun seleke e ni ye tonke e ni ye e ni ye gorlike amain ama bo cross ni pina nga o mina ma be so poloma e ni bo mina be tampo mine chin bo me mo se wa chi mena facilitators amain up man be kina in a bie mini toy ni preme and be cool my boy bebe bese me ngbo konana most me gbo bo me paka mai ani go se me ngba wa me ngba bo pe lu ye poloma e afria ni obosa won se obe mi obosa me obia si ye mangba eh oyewa kreke ye oyewa luka gomeno kreke ni ye mi no kono cosme ofore mi ogbomi bebe semangba amamangba ara afire mari semula bia e mi ngba ani tetere team ye ani lecture mi e ogubolo local government ani wa ani sakia ye lecture mi ana tibi ani wa cricket culture nationalism and prosperity rebuilding the broken walls of unity and political economic renaissance tang bulumokma in the mese wa cricket me and ikoto sisebia okwe me na ma ina pu wa ibosa ko ma won se obeme me na bishop wa ibosa se beme wa piki bebe allah pa ngbo se mo se be me wa o mana boro ngba be na ye nyo mi and be in lock me wa okos me se ye die bo be oboye ma die o die ba ye ma be wori be na me ngba sake ari mi and bo po ma bebe ye won so bia ba okrika local government council in a sikie 11 o'clock local government council be and you mean bo mi ogbo mi be tibi ni ma won se amade bi aye and free me me na temanga agba mi apmana amai na apmana ni kulo che masa ni ye bi aye bo teke se mi ogbo mi be tibi ni ma mo pre bi aye then church in st john's anglican church abloma abloma semi bi mi mi e baka be bi aye and mi e baka mi so wa piki gbo gba bu so mi ni gba chi mi ogbo mi e baka mo be tamo be o wa koko wa kura me ani be sasobri mi bo wa bo mu table debia ani kingoliza halls of peter dilly road ablemen semi bi the chief facilitator wa minen gba ti bi bo mi e baka won so be me se o teke me na o de nku bi yan na mi ti mi mi an bo be be won so en bo bel ma jesus christ bere bo Nebaka, passes your collegberry say pokey. He locks in the way to our room in Yanabo, and a number a row V one five A six three. Mukele and the dog paka. A year, you mean kicking my warabe. Okay, now as I said earlier. As I said earlier, the speeches have begun and the inauguration committee chairman has just addressed us. Now it will be turn for our host, the chairman of Ogu Bolo local government area, Barrister Vincent Nemieboka, to now say something to douse all the tensions, whether we are welcome to his local government area or not. Chairman, sir, take the table. I can see it to be double. I am my apple. I bishop. member. 
wa go bo him lecture me mo deliver be away professor me na to been bo american ke se bo mi o me na bo so bo me na rumbra sen bo ta se ke solicitor general solicitor general bi o ma baga twa me process me pre and bo mi o ke lap ma bo 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 me na member house of assembly wa me na to be di ma bo Omnen bo kreni me. Me na local government orebo. Kakrate me amoy. Semen ba mo kreni me. Obu ya mo be. Facilitators ma peke ma mo be me. Mos me opu inauguration omo ye asake bo. Ye wa me o sake. Semi kubri ma. Ba wa mo inauguration me mo ye. And fi me na. Meaning by Bori and Ben, I know me be my ye. Meaning by Cog my Bori, because Emmy over so a book will be more moose on a Boracan walk one here. Me and the cure your sacred as your con, I'm confused. I can cannot come by a mono, I begin to come by a no. Enapo, oh, you are confusion, my enama. One me or Cobri Massi go go in the daffy be a puma. Nekeken ifi, ori nikio, keken na bivik pola me. Wamu askul ma se bwa mi e, wamu na buma kaimbo, jambu na mi e bolu mayana, fri wenge, ane kama ne keken ye, e na po, e remember ibi bela me na, waya mi anbo tebe yana itambe, akumana bo bari na ma na modu kubia bifas mi. I go behind my name. WNC, Wakereke National Congress, or me. Meng ba ne sakeke. And sak ma bo bolam. Ibi eko ma me na chief of forokuma. Ina attempt mi e mek semi ching buluma. Mi ora mi ane ching. Ane seka ni ni da boy na cheke. Ane ma ma itam no be me na etorbi mo kan bo boy na che etambe. Tam no be di buke re bo an boye na chebia. An go boye na chebia ye. Bi bo bo soka man bo we ni bo lo ke mi. E be na mi de boye na puma wa me na bo e biye bagma e tambe. Tom boye o bo bo e biye bagma e anan bo si te oke mo la am. E yen apo. E bo e mo e biye bagma e be. E yen a e sone. E bo ka e bo e ke yen a me mbe mi. Ya pa agbori oto ma. Me na sebe mama po moko wa moko wa seke police commissioner so waga be na njira be. Be mi de kreken ma so na kosma po mi embe wa ni mke. Ane buwe biye baga mame ane bo lo ke. Ini kyo ere na skulu mbo. De ima bi bo. Is commissioner of police mo po. Be mi de wa ni mka e mi ne bo yanap ma. The man in charge of counter-terrorism in Nigerian police force. Crack and boy. Nemi wo. Be mi ne boye na bma. Ako si mi apu mi embe mi. Wa ni mke. I can go on and on. Ane mi na boye biye baga ma man bo lo ke. So mi ok bo mi. Anu ma necessary me to rebe. Two months ago. Bar crack and talk bro puye ye me me contribe. Orem tokwe. About 30, 31 years old. Dao kreken boy. Younger kreken boy. Beke nama ina yi me. Beke nipo ini da ye kaya ni me na njika ye ye. In less than one month, a team assembled me to win basketball championship for Nigeria. Kreken bo, em ma ma abe bo fure. Erem na toke ma abe bo fure. Ibu ya no ma abe bo fure. Wa abe me bebe Facebook. So you know, po, be ah, don't you call a bar statement on my name? On my statement, me look at government chairman and what reply he gave. And I can't long long my endo reply be ah. But don't you call this a non-state actor? Just statement on my name. Federal government appointment, me ne prabe. In your appointments to Obiakbo, the biggest appointment to Gubolo, the smallest. 
one of the smallest local government in Gaza River State. And it me increase me increase a baby or me increase a baby man. In the book, my must make a book program. Obie bela na kaka national umuasi mabe. But and then na opekrebi abu fure. Kongo opekrebi abu fure. Do do kaya. Do ma ya ya mengo muso mu ya mi. Ba wana embrace ogma. Semi an inda baka chwa semi preka. Inda baka chwa semi prebi. But mi nengo wa simogbo. To mi nengo go go plama be. To mi nengo go sima be. In virtually all spheres of our lives. And I'm a So, you know, I'm a big boy. 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 And it's been able to lock my lock, my man. Ere, it can be one year, and I've been around me, I do quick. Mock up, you do quick. But I'm a man, I rock one boy, sonny. Mock all of us, show me, go and wind up around Trabia. Yeah. Why you not buy my one more year? I require my baby, and I sustainability and a crow ten year. I pick you go be a year. So now, mock on a be a digida. Ibi emi ini diki dada me. Mio, mi neng ba kreke niye. Before o o ufa abo kreke ni ma ane river state government toroko toroko da ye. Ana secretary to government on that spiff pe kreke ni boy kreke ni biok ma toroko da me. O di biok ma why biok ma abo abo da am. And now the papa go and go back with the mama. Do more now, now, now. Second, second, now. Make it no more. But then now, the second baby, he need to send it. Me na anga se, me na computer man. He bring it. Bring him a book. Bring him a glass. He must move in bottom man. Ogbo me ni tan se ke. Bring him a book in bottom car. Bring a branch in the big bottom car. Oba ka ikere ikere convention. Worldwide, in my chiyomie, Lagos chapter me, UK chapter me, American chapter me, chapter makom baka. Ye mbe mbe sone woko ani ye. Anabe, mena rumbo weba na tebe dabia, begina mo rumie. Kele duko, America smeri na smeri man ba prena wa, duko ni prena wa into kunime. Nebiok ma yoy, mie mi sakme. But I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm going to work with you. And I'm going to work with you. 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 And I'm going to work with you. Free me, me, and me. Free me, and me, and me, and me, and me. Because I'm going to work with you. And I'm going to work with you. And I'm going to work with you. Talk my BAK. Every talk about me in Agbemara. UK chapter, Toroko Ju Wamoyena. US chapter, Wamoyena. Lagos chapter, Wamoyena. Bring the men to the EGO here. Equity Professional Association is part of the Equity Convention. But we can lock my, of course, my unit, Wapiki Moyena. Walk on here and lock my, hear me, and it be time here. Wapiki me had made a jail mistake. Chief or not one second, a politics better to go man. A rare man, a rare politician. A boy because see politicians might be a room here. But politician go go see Bokao. Politician go go see Boke. Meaning by what George one name man. That disposition, be by politician, be by politician care, passes you one one avoid it. Kreke se bel ma bo bel ma bo. Iyo ye kuru ma pozisyon goi goi. Ofre wenge se me ma prebiya. E kreke se bel ma me bebe. E peke ki se me bel ma me. Mine ba wane me me se me yan bel ma me. For instance, profi. 
Zeb or Bepe, Professor, be a politician. A young ass may send one arm and abuna, and a minocation be chairman. Joke more poor lawyer boy, be a politician. So it or be politicians, ma, I'm not many dasima. How many in using such a way that I got better call me a bear in the one network now? In our resources now, in the more I na be true and the send what premier. Kuluma do go be aye, and the minute chairman do go emi. O se na se, o se na se, o se na se, and kile wa double prabu. Member government o coach we recognize them, and yes, ma ke. E torbari abe na amama me na sebe bakalau kemi, even if it's third class traditional rulers on the wakile ya na. And the book gave my son, but why did people suck I go? In the case and ball, and now a blimina mind ball. And it's told me in under recognized since 1975. 78. Okubo Bengbala, Menaye, Chinka, Goy. On your nagbe certificate, Mawayanaki. In that most so I know who saw Papa Kake, and spin up the Madame Cockmanneke. In a Papa, I see, oh, you are more one as Sabrame, meaning by watch your chroma. Me and me, me, and I be so in me a wapering. What's that? I saw Sandy Abara, I do go come over me, Okuma, and now while got your man in a wabi bobo sockma, milk and wine dance or send the mama. Me Baka. Passi si kere kene o kele omna buma bele ma wa kere ke o kuma wop ma kere me ano kwe mi o ano kuma bumo wa idok mana kuma kongkuma ano wengi oko ano wengi nagbe ambara ano sime nagbe ambara wa mose na ni yebia o mi ni yere me be e yoke e re kere kene boy a muanga muanga sime yon sime yon e re kere kene boy wa bari die Nemi doke ke ane oduga imangbai omi abaka meko ya apegi okwa yemi seni imbrebe mo apre sala. Alright, bena pokele bara from na apre. Krekele wambe mo. Krekele wambe mo. Obu anoi. Wasa kisik ma boka pomi ngo kere ma obu anoi. Saka wasa kisik boka lapu amapo wari kasa lapu. Wasa kusik boka amaya napo magbo bina beso sapo ante anga amaya napo engineer abie bright io jp ombarai bi kingdom okrika plantation the chlg bula sa okele bara from na mapre menapo amaya napo salapo yo locha mapo. Amanere na tere me wabo tichiri michi koko mana ruto me na na me na maya na pma ane me na tibini boro boro ima balama balaso tanga ni mabuli na maya na boro ra bere boro boro kwa me yoko kwa yoko nsiwa be farm ima balaso yizweke anu ge ima balama balaso amaya na pma ina kwa yoko ap mengo ame tichiri mi finji ne. Tere wa wapala ba ni bodi jukwa na kubwa mafunji sara wa bro kwa mengwa mi na kwa kwa wapro na kwa mi me me kenge gosi wa tatarima chia rebo si o kwa kwa sini wa prove abo alright amaya na bo sa. Assist at Chesay Nimir M. Frank JP Bolo Luca the eighth. Am I number of Bolo Kingdom? Cricket Bessel Cranimo Oduko Barabu Mama Balama Aboroike Becalema, I atitima. Won't pretty be a year. Then I say, why do you could maybe a bore you? Why name be a bore you? Bia, si maema mengba si maema risoke. 
Ina kona sekri di madi makayo Freddy ma misikima. Ani kose dia awanya na kawani mkae ma meng baru mo pakabu asiki. Mine mina kiri eresa repre. E bara mo sma yo kwa mikri kena ba nero furia meng bara rani prebia. Professor. Because me kiri furia mina kwa pakabu asiki meng bara rani prebia. Arabu wada meng ma mubia. Si meng bebe ba watel ma mamu. Embarrass me, me okon epele pe, okon epele pe, wa boka si ke epele pe, me wa epele kima, che okon insi boka le na biabara, me okon epele pe, ma in kana ma ye professor sa bo, diri ne me bo iji kila pura sa bo, baria pa soka bo ke iji kila pura, me na po amai ma dugo sa seke, adugo doka ma bo baka ye. Tell me, call me, Chugu. Opubere Kumbabi, the Chief Judge of the Field, Odugoyam. Oye wa seni. And say ke seni me go. Mara cha wa pribi ya mabuk bori. Wani inka mina amnapo. Angba wa rapmana. Peke na madi diga rapmana di kiokma. Eni miya se eni bipi obo short time mabuk bori. Tibi niye mi okwe. Bora kwe inu anya na me. Mine miyoko aneme wase ikbin wokuma abe. Mina kwa eme wase ikbin wokuma am. Kireke na hida hida kinde yombe. Kireke na hida kinde yombe. Yo wa mina bu magbela. Moku wa wa kwa ya bara me. Kala ise me ma me sikiboro. Mi be toroko jia kura seki. Mina wa ma ni daga inga ima me bara so kwa imbe. Akuru ma ke ni da kwa imbe ako. Anigo wa bo bere me. Amo kwa imi so. Ye ananabu kura iba wa so. Apeke duko bi ajiye. Se do ba do ba me. Ino kono frofo ye. O se ni se ni me. Ye mina se ni ye si ma wa pere ma. Ne mi ka se belenji. E won se fulo chwa me. Se bele be. Belenji mi bele firike. Se kosi me bebe. Ane papa mu fulo bele ma bele ma me. Mina po po kwa insa yimye ka omye baka. Mye baka. Um, ba upone anga ba wabo siki mina mayar ma prove ni mbana bufi ni juma biyoku ma biyoku ma na kupila wara kwa wapi prove mi mi kenyango si wapi kipa mukula karama biya ego ya mayan bobi moko kwa kwa mani chia mayan bapa wapi yana pokeri ni me wabo miyo gula siki wabo pekelema ogubolo dance group ni kala siki wakuma please. Three minutes were in the previous year. Men are guest lecturer. By now, killing your surround. I hope you give me my dream. Rapporteurs, panelists, get set to be introduced in a few minutes. Ogwolo Dance Group. Obarala. Omiyabaka. Two minutes more, two minutes more.
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Princess Emily Tari Erendu. Abo Peke Eme Aha. Abo Moko Timi Bi Abo Sam. Pasusu. Ea Ye Gema. Deki Chema. Ea Didi Pemba Finji. Seke Laam. Wabo Timi Bi Sam. Meng Bayana Subel Kwan. Antiko che ya ma bi baka ime bia me baka emili barala ya me na pop kino kreni me ya re emili tari embero am i kala kala but we'll do it both ways my job here is very simple i'm about to go into the lecture of today the inaugural lecture of the Wakrika National Congress that will be inaugurated tomorrow. And the theme for today's lecture is Wakrika culture, nationalism and prosperity, rebuilding the broken walls of unity for political economic renaissance by the distinguished professor Ibibia Lucky Paul Worika. But before he comes up to give us the lecture, I would like to call on the moderator for today's uh, lecture, I'm talking about Pro Alabo Professor Isaac Obipi. We also have the panelists and rapporteurs here ready to do what they know how to do best. On the panel list, I have a Professor Kingdom S. Abam. I also have Ibitamno Aminigo. There's also Chief Elect Israel Aseminabo. Gift Amangi Kalio and Barista Derek Ache. MR Barista Christina Tamnot Beretari. We have Dr. Dean Elliot Kalio, and of course, we have Elliot Humphrey. These people will come, you know, after the lecture and give us a report on what they've been able to deduce from what is about to go down. And ladies and gentlemen, I would like to call on to the podium our lecturer for today, Professor Ibibia Lucky Paul Worika. Round of applause for him, please. 
Professor Warika is an outstanding international lawyer who demonstrates the highest standards of efficiency, competency, and integrity while striving to achieve results, meeting or exceeding expectations through genuine interest and understanding of institutional organizational objectives and is dedicated to its principles and values. To just wrap it up, Professor Warika holds a PhD in International Environmental and Comparative Petroleum Law and Policy from the University of Dundee in Scotland, UK, under a Commonwealth Academic Staff Scholarship administered by the Commonwealth Scholarship Commission in London between 1995 and 1998. He was a postdoctoral researcher at the Center for Energy, Petroleum, and Mineral Law and Policy at the University of Dundee, Scotland, UK, between 1999 and 2000. He holds an LLM and LLB degrees from the University of Lagos, 1989 and 1986, respectively, and was called to the Nigerian Bar in 1987. He has published widely and has, at various times, consulted for Fitchner Consulting, GmbH of Germany, Forster in Nigeria, Oxford Policy Management, OPM of the UK, United Nations Institute for Advanced Legal Studies in Japan, the United Nations Development Program, MacArthur Foundation, the Niger Delta Human and Environmental Rights Organization, River State Government of Nigeria, the Ministry of Petroleum Resources of Nigeria, and the African Petroleum Producers Organization in the Congo Brazzaville, amongst others. Just to wrap it up, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Professor Paul Warika. You're welcome, sir. Fortunately or unfortunately, big nap people are they are to me here. And so, in the circumstances, me, I will definitely try and wrap it up. Paper me kele bakame, but I don't want to bore you people, so I'll just try and. Uh, from the table of contents, if you permit me, you will get a sense of what the paper is about. I started with a brief, a brief prelude, introduction, and then the conceptual framework, wakrike, anichemini, culture, nationalism, prosperity, rebuilding, broken walls of unity, and of course, political economic renaissance. Then what we do in academics, that's what they call the theoretical framework of the topic itself. Ane, anabu yeduko sapo, in ichedukou, in the past, so to speak. Now, the causes of disunity, because to talk about rebuilding the broken walls of unity, and if you have we already have disunity. And we may want to interrogate what actually have caused those disunities without dwelling on them. Chairman B, or he made the point, and absolutely very apt in my humble view. Yes, we have a past, but we cannot continue to live in that past. So the next section talks about rebuilding the broken walls of unity. The question is, how do we do that and why? And then we have a final word just on the concept of leadership. Because leadership is not just an enabler. You can say that it charts the trajectory for the political, economic, and social development of any society in the world beyond Wakreke. Now, to start with, I quoted from Professor Joseph Atubokiki Ajenka. Uh, he was chairman of one of your facilitations in the past. And I saw something that I thought was very important. By the way, uh, he was the seventh vice chancellor of the University of Port Harcourt. And Orima uh, Anise Eboye, I was working in London. Come and help us. And I hearkened to his call. He said, now we face the greatest battle of our lives. 
the battle within ourselves, the battle with the enemy within each and every one of us, the battle to overcome self against selfishness and intellectual sagacity. To win this battle, we need to recommit ourselves to the truth. And I cannot agree more with, with him. Our highly respected Amayanapo, traditional rulers, political office holders in Wakreke, our brothers and sisters in diaspora, um, as well as all those who have made out time to be here, Okreni men, I feel highly honored and privileged to have been invited to deliver this inaugural lecture because there are lots of Wakreke sons and daughters, perhaps much more eminent than I am, that should have been invited to deliver this lecture. So, Abakama, Miebakaseni, Obeme. The topic for the inauguration lecture, Wakrike Culture, Nationalism and Prosperity, Rebuilding the Broken Walls of Unity for Political Economic Renaissance, has been carefully and deliberately chosen, obviously. I therefore approach this topic with trepidation, considering that while indeed I am a Wakrike son of my late beloved father, Uriel Atomnoibi Paul Wurika, of blessed memory, I can hardly measure to his depth and knowledge of Wakrike culture and nationalism, nor can, I, nor can I pretend that I am much more conversant with the subject matter than those of you who are gathered here. So I approach this topic with great humility. Against this backdrop, I perceive that this inauguration lecture gives us an opportunity to brainstorm on essentially the way forward. I am undoubtedly grateful to the facilitators of this inauguration, the Wakrike National Congress. From the concept and vision of the formation of an apex pan Wakrike social cultural organization, through the initial and subsequent consultation with Amayana Po and all other stakeholders to work out the nitty gritty for the formation of the organization, the feedback to facilitators on outcome of consultations through the presentation of draft articles for the formation of the organization to the Amayanapo and stakeholders in the various Wakrike clans, culminating into the convocation of the Wakrike Sekobria to proclaim the formation of this organization. The leadership of this organization has continued to unify Wakrike in their own way. And we must acknowledge them and thank them for the role they are playing while setting the trajectory for our development with a sanguine zeal. Of course, their zeal, given that a lot of them are also diasporans, they are not based here, is something that, in all fairness, predisposes me to silence. And there's something about diaspora which we must not forget. Joseph, who eventually rescued the Israelites from famine, and especially his brothers and sisters, was in diaspora in Egypt. So let us not say, oh, because they are not here, they are still part of us. They are, they, are, they are part and parcel of the Wakrike ethnic nationality. In the course of my research, of course, I spoke to a number of highly educated and notable Wakrike sons and daughters, in no particular order, but I just have to acknowledge them and name them. I spoke with my former boss and seventh vice chancellor, Professor Joseph Ajenka. I spoke to Senator Chief Dr. George Thompson Sekbo. I spoke to Chief Dr. Alpheus Paul Worika, Chief Professor Zeb, Isaac Zeb Obepe. Thank you so much for all the materials you made available to me. I can't thank you enough. Uh, Professor Atboyedia Wolfen, W. Obianime. I spoke to our very, very honorable chairman of the local government area, Barista Vincent Nemeboka, Mr. Emmanuel T.D. Oloye, Mr. Dagogo, Dr. Dagogo Abam, and a host of others too numerous to mention. I have also benefited tremendously from papers, articles, and books written by Wakrike sons, uh, as well as discussions held with them. Now, I say again, I approach this topic with some nervousness, as I believe I have a lot to learn and still understand. Notwithstanding, I wish to state categorically that the views expressed in this paper are entirely mine. They do not belong to the people I have consulted. They never wrote this paper for me. In fact, most of them, 99% of them, did not even see this paper before I am here talking about it. So I take personal responsibility. It's not the views of the River State University. It's not the views of the Center for Advanced Legal Research, of which I am director. It's also not the views of any of the organizations to which I had been affiliated with in the past. Now, introduction. Deliberately 
and I'm going to do a lot of wrap up. I will, I will jump pages, but you'll permit me to do that. Deliberately, expediently, or fortuitously, our forebears bequitted a Wakrike nation that was undeniably one of the most influential, a just sub ethnic nationalities in the Niger Delta of Nigeria. The Wakrike nation had certainly produced great and forthright icons in this country who had contributed immensely to the development of Nigeria at large and River State in particular and had championed even the creation of River State. Why in a man? We know them. Today we cannot say with commendable justification that the Wakrike nation continues to enjoy the tremendous influence that it once had. We've said this for some of the speakers. They've also mentioned this. As it was observed in the document, concept and vision for the formation of an apex pan Wakrike sociocultural organization. And I quote, there is a mountain of undeniable evidence that Wakrike nation and its people have lost its vantage position in the scheme of things in our dear river state and at the center. The reason for this abysmally sorry and shameful state of affairs though may be controversial and not far-fetched. The situation is even more frightening given the fact that several attempts have been made in the past to galvanize our human and material resources, to pull one cricket nation together and overcome their setbacks. And yet, up till this time, very little progress had been made. Well, I must say, let us not sound too pessimistic. This gathering is evidence itself that there is a gradual paradigm shift there's a knowledge that we need to move forward. And that knowledge itself, in my humble view, is the beginning of greater things to come. <laughs> to be sure, Wakrike society combines traditionalism and modernity as a society in transition, which is characteristic of most communities in contemporary Nigeria, apart from the capital cities of the various Nigerian states. Wakrike nation being in transition obviously implies that it faces myriad complex and interrelated challenges of traditional political leadership, socioeconomic development, unity, and others. Now, in this paper, we proceeded in six major steps, which I basically summarized at the beginning. We are going to move straight to the conceptual framework. Now, I didn't want this paper to be too academic, but we can start arguing about what exactly is Wakrike. At what point did it start? What exactly it is? Is it the same thing as Ukrika? Is it the same thing as, you know, so they, they, we, can, we can go on and on. But I think there is an increasing knowledge that the former terminology, Ukrika, which had different meanings, could refer to the island, could refer to Ukrika town itself, could refer to the language, as well as the people and the entire clans. And instead of delving into this kind of, you know, uh, semantics, I think the concept of Wakrike is something that has gained a lot of traction, and we must continue to develop on that and live on that. And let me per uh, permit me, uh, Chief Zeb, uh, Professor Zeb Obipe, to quote you. Uh, you had, in a paper presented at the Wakrike Leadership Summit, held uh, sometime in 2017, uh, exactly gave what con I consider to be a precise uh, definition of Wakrike. And I'm quoting you, you were also quoting those before you. You were quoting Oforokuma, you were quoting Abam. You were, but this is how it is, this is how it should be. And he said, Wakrike refers to the Niger Delta people of a Jaw ethnic group that owned the Okrika, Ogubolo, and south of Portakot local government areas of River State in Nigeria. According to Oforokuma, the Wakrike terrain amounts to roughly 600 square kilometers of land, creeks, and mangrove swamp, basically unfriendly and difficult, hosts with vast complex of pipelines and companies, including oil and gas companies, and the most part, badly congested. This is Abam speaking. It was most, who was more specific in the extent of Wakrike, he said it's actually 648.15 square kilometers with boundaries with our neighbors, Calabaris, Bornese, Andoni, Ogoni, Eleme, Okrika, which we all know. Now, we understand the schisms. We understand all the problems. And they say that the devil is in the details. Otherwise, one could cause, we could go even further and say, well, Wakrika refers to perhaps the 10 clans of Okrika speaking a joint ethnic nationality nine traditional towns which constituted the old Okrika kingdom before 1913 
And then the new towns, which we have already heard them mention. And I would like us to truly, in all fairness, everyone has spoken about this. Towns develop. People develop. And especially given what has happened, we should just accept what has gone on and move on. We, can, we are still the same people. So, so along that line, we can say that the Krika kingdom includes Koniju, Konyama, Okochire, Krike itself, Kalogoloma, and of course, Southern Port Harcourt local government area. Now, culture is a totality of the way of life of a people. Among other things, it consists of language, morals, belief systems, and all. And it can be defined in all, as all the ways of life, including arts, belief, institution, population, that is passed down from generation to generation. Within this context, Wakrike culture refers to the ways of life of the Wakrike people, including their arts, belief systems, institutions that are passed down from one generation to the other. Nationalism. Nationalism is an ideology that is based on the premise that individuals' loyalty and devotion to the nation state surpasses other individual or group interests. And so when we talk about Wakrike nationalism, we are talking about the interest of Wakrike itself the entire set of Wakrike. Uh, we must caution, though, that Wakrike nationalism within the larger geopolitical sphere of Nigeria must necessarily take into account other group interests. And I think the chairman made this point when he spoke. And sincerely, he was speaking my mind. This is inevitable, given that our constitution, the constitution that binds the various ethnic groups of Nigeria, declares itself to be the supreme law of the land. And that is the truth. Notwithstanding, Wakrike nationalism can be funneled towards bringing about the peaceful resolution of conflicts while aiming towards the realization of the sustainable development of our people. Prosperity is a very simple thing to define. But it can be understood more in terms of the synonyms. And what are the synonyms? Well, prosperity is simply the state of being prosperous. But it's um, uh, it, it, it has the synonyms doing well, thriving, prospering, buoyant, flourishing, just to mention this. So we want Wakrike to flourish. We want it to prosper. We want it to, to develop well beyond the current uh, situation. Rebuilding, of course, to rebuild means to build something again. Uh, it means something was damaged, and now we are trying to rebuild it. And that, that's fine. Rebuilding denotes continuity in the synonyms. Reconstructing. Renovating, revamping, remaking, reassembling, reconditioning, and of course, rehabilitating, just to mention this. Broken walls of unity, where the walls broken, well, it, it, it all depends on how you see it. Walls can be seen, figuratively, as a source of imprisonment and division. On the one hand, in this sense, they are often referred to as things that we need to break down and overcome, if they are impediments. But in another sense, however, we look at walls in the Bible, for example, that are seen as structures that protect, providing security, uh, and they represent a place of shelter, forming a sense of belonging. Of course, in this latter sense, walls are used in this paper, naturally. Spiritually, broken walls also opens up new perspectives, new opportunities, new beginnings. So we must see this as, as, as something that gives us another opportunity for um, I wouldn't say a start, but a continuation on a more positive note so that development will get to the grassroots of Wakrike. Now, unity is the state of being one, united, oneness, singleness. It is also the quality of being one in spirit, sentiment, purpose, harmony, agreement, concord, uniformity. Now, I must warn here, there is hardly any society or community in which, in the entire world, in which the that is a community that has the same oneness of spirit, you know, oneness of purpose, oneness of everything. So what am I saying here? I'm saying that we can still be united even in our diversity. We may have different views. We may have different perspectives. It doesn't make the one who has a different perspective an enemy. No. But we are still the same people. We are not, we are not different in any way. So... That's the sense in which we are using unity here. We recognize our diversity, but we are also positioning unity as what should bring about that progress. Now, political economic renaissance. And uh, 
I, I don't want to go into all the details, but let me just quote what one uh, Ashley Dimigok Kant, a World Bank official, uh, said concerning uh, political economy. She said that this breathtaking report, it was a report that was put together by the World Bank, places politics at the heart of the development dialogue. Again, our chairman had made that point when he started. So when we say we want to be apolitical, we want to be apolitical, we don't want to have anything to do with politics, I'm afraid. Politics is what charts the trajectory for development in all societies. And so we must begin to rise up to the occasion and begin to take an interest in the political sphere. Now, it provides constructive ideas for harnessing the forces of transparency and citizen engagement in ways that are suited to diverse institutional contexts so that reform leaders can overcome political constraints in their country's development. Renaissance can best be understood through its synonyms again, rebirth, resurgence, revitalization, revival, recovery, just to mention this. Permit me to suggest that the association of Wakrike community in Great Britain and Ireland, Wakrike USA, and Wakrike Development Coalition are explicitly requiring us to chart a new framework for political and economic rejuvenation, a fact that must be highly appreciated. Now, again, in the theoretical framework, I was trying to draw a distinction between culture, customs, and tradition, but we're not going to go into that. I just want to dwell a little bit more on what the law says concerning customs or customary laws. The historical school of jurisprudential thought was founded by a German called Frederick Karl von Savey, and he lived between 1779 and 1861. His central idea was that a nation's customary law is the truly living law, and that the task of jurisprudence is to uncover this law and describe its historical studies, its social uh, uh, provenance. Now, historical jurisprudence identified law as the consciousness or spirit of a specific people. Law is found by the jurists and not made by the state or its organs. Law is national or folk and not a political pheno phenomenon. It's a social and not an individual production. Essentially, what are they saying? They are saying that, look, we may have the laws the, in the statutes. We may have court decisions and all that. But the living law, the law that we know in Wakereke is that which is based on our culture, our customs and traditions. That's what the historical school is saying. Now, there are, there are other schools that have criticized this perspective of law, but we're not going to go into that. What's important for us to bear in mind is that customs and traditions of any community, including Wakereke, generally have the force of law, provided they pass through certain tests under the law. And in Nigeria, they have to pass through what they call the repugnancy tests or doctrine, and of course, they must also be subject to the Constitution of Nigeria. Again, that re-emphasizes that our customs, our traditions, our laws, our laws, customary laws must still be subject to the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The issues and challenges militating against Wakrika unity, Cheye, Cheye Jokuma, Moko, Bo, Bata, Nikanika Bara, that we can no longer forge progress and unity in our land is sad. But you know them. Number one is the Jew, what we currently refer to as the Jew crisis. And it's funny, isn't it? Because, because, look, let me tell you the truth. I cannot, in all honesty, just look at you, not knowing where you come from, apart from the fact that you're a Wakrike son, say whether you are Koneju or Tiboniju. In their name, you're Torubomi. But, but we've been so divided over non-issues, as far as I'm concerned. I said, perhaps no other issue has caused much disunity within Wakreke than what is now popularly referred to as the Jew sentiment or crisis. A short form of Koneju and Tuboniju, that the classification of Wakreke sons and daughters into those who are said to be fishermen or from the fishing port and those who are traders can cause such deep-rooted resentment amongst us continues to perplex me to silence. And I'm being honest with you. I can't understand it. My beloved late father of blessed memory, uh, Uriel Atomnebi Paul Worika, had decried this state of affairs in a publication which he titled Rivers Issues, a collection of articles he had published between 1989 and 1990. In Article 10, what I will call Chapter 10, he said, 
the acrimony in Okrika, in bracket, Kreke, town, whose fallout sometimes affect other towns in the Okrika local government area. At that time, we were part of the larger Okrika local government area. Has lasted for so long, and people are beginning to feel that there are some unscrupulous elements, particularly reaping bumper harvest from the discord that has lasted many years. There are no issues from which any controversy which could not have been resolved long ago, ushering in peace, love, and concord in a community with boundless potentials for progress and prosperity. The Okrika area is blessed with bountiful material and human resources. The bane of Okrika town and the wider group, now a local government area, is the presence of some evil geniuses at the corridors of power. In advisory positions, who many times offer wrong advice based on wrong premises, which result in unjust decisions. This creates continuous tension and acrimony. Time has come for patriots to come together and take bold and resolute stand against such people who perpetrate acrimony through the projection of unjust decisions and unfair practices. They should be jettisoned. Now, this is instructive, and I need to spend a little bit of more time on this matter because it's something that I think has been festering. And by the time you look at all the other factors of disunity, you find that it spills into all of them. The Konijut Moniju crisis spilled into the political area. It spilled into, it created all kinds of things. You know, and you start asking yourself, what's wrong with us? In the 21st century, in the 21st century, the world is making progress everywhere. Now, in commemoration of 100 years of the bat, and the 22, 22 years rather of his death. Somebody who is not even a Wakrike son, Adebayo Adejobi, elogizes his majesty, his late majesty, Sir SPU Organ, Ado the Eighth JP, later Minabo of Okrika, in an article titled Celebrating the Legacy of the Later Minabo of Okrika in these words. This is the same Minabo that some Okrika people will rather hate and wish that he never lived. A foreigner, a foreigner, not, not Wakrike person. The German local government area mentioned it just now. We don't seem to love ourselves. It, this was not written by Wakrika son. Let me, let me read it out. During the war, Okrika, the whole of Okrika, including Ogu and other major towns, were under siege, and the people suffered untold persecution. Okrika had been clearly marked out for total annihilation by Biafra, but was saved by God using King Ogan as a vessel. During the war, Okrika was united under him. There was no Konuju or Tubonuju Council of Chiefs. All the chiefs rallied round him and looked up to him for leadership as their king. Between January and May 1968, Okrika was under subjugation by retreating Biafran soldiers from the war front at Boni, which had then fallen to the Nigerian troops. Now, why, why did I bring this out? It's just to show you that we may not appreciate what we have. But there are others who look at us and think that, look, we have something that we should be proud of. Yet, the Jew sentiment runs very deep and is a major source of division in Wakrike. This paper does not go beyond this to start interrogating the origin, the causes, the virus, whether we, we, don't, we don't have that time. There's no time, you know. Nor does it intend to interrogate the basis for the division at all. Now, these sentiments may have held sway and justified in the past. But the war cricket of the future should not be subjugated to this debilitating shackle of the Jew sentiment and crisis. Enough is enough. We also identified the Amainabo chieftaincy stool crisis. You know, um, it's uh, despite war cricket's checkered history, in, indeed, her people still hold their traditional rulers and chiefs in very high esteem. It's obvious. It doesn't matter where we are. It doesn't matter whether we are in diaspora or whether we are in Nigeria. We still revere these chiefs. We revere our traditional rulers. And I think there's nothing wrong about that. It's good. But this explains the keen interest in the matter of who becomes the chief of the Wakenu House or the Amainabo of uh, Okrika or the Amainabo of Ogu. Or the, you know, it has become a very thorny issue. Like most the job communities of the Niger Delta, the importance of the chief in the institution has not been diminished much, even with the advent of democratic rule. So yes, we may have the, the council, we may have the government at the center, but we still, we still look at these people as one of us, as part of us. 
In cricket, the Jew sentiment is now intricately intertwined with the chieftaincy institution, which never seemed to be the case in the past. B.A. Oboforibo, in his magnum opus, The Groundwork of Africa History, highlighted this fact. And I just want to quote him, it's very short. Succession crisis which has since bedeviled Okrika town with highly inflammable political atmosphere. A situation which has since elicited balkanization, sectarianism and particularism. The very enemies of unity and stability in the clan. In Okrika town itself, a new estate of nimble political opportunities has since emerged. Now, the Konijutmoriju crisis, like I said, has infiltrated the chieftaincy institution and in a keynote address, sometime delivered by uh, Chief Senator uh, George uh, T. Sekibo, C.O.N., at uh, the Ogu Town Hall uh, meeting organized by the Liberation Club of Ogu, in collaboration with the Ogu local government area, uh, where he talked about developing Ogu for, for posterity. He decried our work was with a focus on leadership, security, politics, education, and economy. He decried the state of affairs in Ogu. And he said this, and I just want to quote this. And you see that this replicates itself in some of the other clans of Okrika. The Ogu chieftaincy institution has become too politicized and unduly polarized. It's not me saying it all. This is one of the chiefs of the Ogu Council of Chiefs. Thus, reducing focus on the very purpose for which the institution was established. The institution has been enveloped by several leadership crises, sometimes to factionalization, with each faction persisting on claims of rightfulness. Oftentimes, such crises last for decades with no success at reconciliation. Such factions and claims of rightness usually required legal interpretations, and therefore they head to the courts for adjudication. The Amarina stood in another area of internal wrangling, you know, and disputes. From 2005 till date, there have been several cases in court on disputes that could not have been resolved through our customary processes. We are aware today the choice of an Amarinaba elect is a problem. Thus, it will take an unknown date when the next monarch will be allowed to go and rest, when the last monarch, rather, will be allowed to go and rest with his ancestors. Now, it's a shame, isn't it? A man dies that is recognized as the Amarinaba of Ogu. All of a sudden, we can't bury him because we, are, we have different views amongst ourselves. And we hold these views so strongly that they are important than any other thing, including the development of the town. No, it shouldn't be. And I say this with the greatest respect. I share the sentiments of Chief Senator uh, George Thompson Sekibor on this particular issue. The other cricket towns are not spared this same chieftaincy crisis. And we can go on and on. But I just need to bring out one thing. And I think it's important. Uh, the River State Traditional Rulers Law neither sets up guidelines for the installation of chiefs or traditional rulers, nor does it confer chieftaincy or traditional ruler title on anyone. Let's be clear. And that is understandable. Because the people who install chiefs is the responsibilities of the communities, the people who are in that particular community. So the state government does not, does not install any chief. Now, what it does, and I'm going to quote, which is captured in the statement of general purpose of the law, it repeals the River State Chieftaincy and Council of Traditional Rulers Law Number no. 9 of 2014 and enacted the River State Traditional Rulers Law 2015 to provide for the establishment of the River State Traditional Council classification and recognition of traditional rulers and other related matters. Now, a very important point. Please listen very carefully. Considering that the chieftaincy institution is autochthonous, autochthonous in that it develops from the organic history of the people, some have wondered and queried why the government has to classify traditional rulers at all. However, given how passionate our people are in the Niger Delta generally, and especially even in Wakrike, about the chieftaincy institution, others have argued, and rightly also, that recognition and classification by government is a sure way to avoid multiplicity of chieftaincy traditional ruler tools by interested and disgruntled elements in society that could invariably lead to a breakdown of law and order in those communities. That said, there is a sense 
that government classification could end up throwing more challenges because you may have ethnic groups that have more first class uh, chiefs. But that is neither here nor there. It's something that we should also look at because it's creating some silent misgivings. The politics of bitterness. Again, we found out that the Jew crisis dovetailed into the political arena in Okrika and gradually diffused into the various clans. It's a view of some of the opinion leaders in Okrika. That time was when the Jew faction held political power and their interests coalesced with that of a faction of the traditional kingship contestant in Okrika. Using activist use, renamed militants, it's alleged that they bulldozed their way and allegedly installed a king, but never left. And later, we are used for all manner of electioneering purposes. Political power became an end in itself, and it did not matter if Okrika was divided against itself. As we would expect, others disagreed with this version. There will always be other versions. There will be several versions. Naturally, of course, the associates, cronies of the faction that held political power at the time, immersed themselves in their various clans, and so it was that politics deepened the existing rift among brothers and sisters of Wakrike. Yet in other climes, political liberalism admits of people of same ethnic nationality belonging to different political parties, with the result that whichever party wins carry the other, the entire town along. So uh, beyond party political interest, what is important was the interest of the family, their town, and of course, it will be difficult for those who have benefited in the political arena from the crisis to relinquish power or perhaps pretend that uh, uh, all is not well. Militancy and cultism, of course, it also dovetailed into it. And this is, this, is, this, is, this is the thing that it's almost like a bandwagon effect. You push something, then it dovetails, it affects the other one, then it affects the other one, then it affects the other one, it just keeps going, keeps going, keeps going. We can spend the whole time here looking at all these things. But what I've said is that militancy and cultism have become an albatross to Wakrike unity. Wakrike youths now feel obliged to belong to some dominant cult groups or others to ensure their safety and security even on their homeland. They carry unlicensed arms and ammunition with the backing of political power at all tiers of government. This emboldens the youths who do not see the need to acquire any formal or vocational training uh, because they consider, you know, anyway, it's a long story. Should such handouts be insufficient, they are confident of having the force of arms to resort to other nefarious activities, including, of course, uh, illegal bunkering, illegal refining, and outright all theft for their continuing survival. All these now lead to environmental degradation in Wakreke because this profile thing is affecting everybody. Just because there are no research carried out doesn't mean that the, the effect is not there. Absolutely. Obviously, environmental degradation, despoilation, and destitution became rampant with occasional youths, deaths rather, from accidental burns sustained from sudden explosion of adulterated refined crude. The dumping of oil and other chemical waste have adversely affected the soil and water quality in our streams and rivers around Wakreke. Gas flaring is generally known to create toxic airborne pollutants, which are, of course, detrimental uh, to human as well as plant life. Prolonged exposure to all these comp compounds can cause cancer, blood disorders, and damage to central nervous system. People living in communities close to gas flaring sites have complained about miscarriages, respiratory illnesses, and health problems. But we don't have data. We don't have data, we don't have records, but this is true. 4.6, traditionalism versus Christianity. Is there any problem here? Well, as a way of reaching out to the unbelieving world of Christ, Dr. Alfred S. Abam, Ado the Ninth, had this to say in his book, The Community Church, A Monumental Legacy, and I quote him, such a need appears to be pressing in these parts where thick darkness continues to brood the sociocultural environment, where hatred and conflict persist and people deliberately use innocent individuals as objects of malicious misinformation and vile propaganda, where deeds of shame loom large, where from time to time wolves threaten the meek and the mild, where men relish to 
scorn the sacred name of Jehovah and where many are not heard, appear to lack motivation to do more in the service of God. Now, I discussed this with one of my, uh, those who I talked with, and they said, uh, the position I hold in this paper that unlike Bonnie, that we don't seem to have any direct conflict with Christianity, that is traditional religion and Christianity, he says, no, it's not true that there was. But in Bonnie, it was so severe that they had to, they had to kill a Christian, exterminate him, probably sent him out, you know, to the seas. Now, a school of thought believes that there is no conflict because traditionalism, traditional uh, Wakrika, indigenous religion, and Christianity are all looking for the good of the same. But another school thinks, no, that Christianity has made us to be so meek and gentle, it has stifled us and our resolve, and we're no longer as strong and forthright as our forebears. Now, the argument is that oaths no longer being taken in traditional shrines as against the current practice of simply placing your hands on the Holy Bible and pledging allegiance to the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria has contributed to the laxity of the leadership in Wakreke and office holders. And so they are not upholding the virtues of their office. We shall come to this later. So what I discovered was that all these issues, one way or the other, have some linkages and nexus. In terms of rebuilding the broken walls of unity, now, these are very outlandish proposals. And to be honest with you, they are essentially mine. I never discussed them with anybody. Sincerely, I didn't. I talked about a work record truth and reconciliation commission. Now, considering the depth of the Jew crisis and how it has permeated into the kingship chieftaincy tools, political arena, and dovetailed into militancy and cultism, as well as resulting into environmental degradation, despoilation, and destitution. With hundreds of thousands either losing their lives, in danger of losing their lives, or suffer damage to property, so much hurt has happened in the entire Wakreke, and some are still smattering from the violation of their human and other rights, having suffered some level of indignity in the past. In all such circumstances, all over the world, it will seem that a truth and reconciliation committee or commission could be set up to enable the various sides ventilate themselves and embrace themselves with a pledge never to let it happen again. Now, I can assure you it's not going to be easy. And a lot of people will be shaking their heads and saying, we understand that. But this is a proposal which we may consider and throw away, that's fine. But there must be a sense that people should be able to say, maybe pack a year it should not happen again. The other person should be able to say, look, well, come out here. I'm very sorry. You know, and they say, you know, I'm, promising, I'm promising that. And there should be no legal liability. In other words, those who come out and confess and say, yes, no legal liability should be attached to them. They should not be charged. For anything. Now, Wakrike Truth and Reconciliation Commission. This should be attached to them. They should not be charged for anything. We should borrow a leaf from the South African Truth and Reconciliation Commission, TROC which was set up by the government of national unity to help deal with what happened under the apartheid regime. I'm not sure we suffered as much as South Africa. I'm not sure we did. But they had a truth and reconciliation commission. The conflict during that period resulted in violence and human rights violations from all sides. No section of society was spared. The TRC, based on the promotion of National Unity and Reconciliation Act No. 34 of 1995, was set up and mandated to look at human rights violations, reparation and rehabilitation, and of course, uh, amnesty. In a similar model, if accepted, Wakreke could look at this and imagine whether it's something that could help to heal the land. It would appear Dr. Albianime has started something close, it wasn't exactly, he didn't call it Truth and Reconciliation Committee, but of course, those who took over from him did not follow up for whatever reason. And I'm proposing also a signed and sealed documentation for the installation of amenable or chieftaincy tools after the demise of a reigning monarch. Let me explain this. You see, why Yaya Mangbao is just oral tradition. We rely so much on oral tradition in Wakrika. The world has moved on. We cannot continue to do this. If there was a written documentation, Arguments of Mabia Paboike. Because we say, may we sign a document, may me This was what we agreed. Nemka said, I'm not about your command. 
Which is the next royal house to take over? Let us have that clearly stated. Who are the people that will be positioned for that? Let us have that clearly stated. How will they emerge? Let us have that clearly stated. So that <coughs> we cannot start quarreling. And then some people will now bring in totally extraneous elements and cause total division. I'm suggesting that that is something that could reduce acrimony that attends the selection of the next chief or the next amenable. Now, part of the problem, like I said, is lack of documentation of agreed procedures and processes. Reliance always on oral tradition, I've said it. There will be a timeline for such documentation if we agree on it, and it should go down to the working houses, to the council of chiefs, and of course the monarchy itself. itself. Absent such documentation, the current situation will continue to replicate itself from one generation to the other. On the political side, I'm suggesting what we already know, and some will say, it will not solve any problem. A peace and credibility pact of all the political gladiators and all the political parties that will last for a minimum of four years. A peace and credibility pact with all the political gladiators pledging themselves to the development and unity and development of Wakreke. Now, a peace accord is an official agreement to come to peace and end conflict. Recall that the European Union support for democratic governance in Nigeria in collaboration with the Federal Government of Nigeria established the National Peace Committee ahead of the 2023 elections. True, it didn't solve much problems, but at least we are not the way of Sudan. If you know what I'm talking about. Sudan is in a civil war. It was reported that Nigeria's main presidential candidate signed a peace accord ahead of the presidential elections. Admittedly, none of this prevented you know, some of the malpractices that we saw or we witnessed. But the beauty of it is that at least there is a minimum, a reducible minimum that is expected of us all. Those who are in political power will not say, oh, peace accord me, Election goes, I have never peace accord me sign here. So, more election for her. So, I don't know why you know. No, no. The peace accord will continue during the tenure of that administration. And it will be signed before the chiefs and Amayanapo and the just like this in this kind of hall. Everybody will agree to it. So that anybody who is deviating from it, we can say, the Q, once me, once sign more, Moko, Iya Yediki. So, we use that. Almost like you can call it blackmail, yes. Meanwhile, here, you know, they are totally different. Now, I talk about amnesty for militants in Wakrike. It appears and sounds counterintuitive to give amnesty to militant and cult groups in Wakrike that bestrode our land with naked force and brutality, leading to injury and death of our friends and relations in the entire Wakrike. There is a propensity in the average man to take his or her pound of flesh. However, the world over, the entire world, the whole world, amnesty has come to play a very crucial, timely, and relevant role in bringing about peace in any land. And I looked at the concept of amnesty. I said a sovereign set of forgiveness of past acts granted by government to all persons or certain classes of persons who have been guilty of crime, derelict, generally, political offenses, whatever, treason, sedition, you name it. And it's similar in all respects to full pardon, insofar as it is granted both the crime and the punishment are abrogated. Now, I get a sense in which we we'll say, well, we are not encouraging anything, but we have examples of amnesties all over the world, not just in South Africa, even in the US, all over the world there are amnesty matters. You know, look at Northern Ireland. There was a time in the UK, if you are on a bus stop, you are afraid whether there will be a bomb explosion. Because the IRA, Irish Republican uh, Army, was carrying out uh, some terrorist activities on the British mainland. And there were lots of destruction of properties and lives and all that. But at the end of the day, there had to be an amnesty, there had to be a peace deal, so that future generations can benefit from that kind of concordance. Now, that said, amnesty to militants, you may argue, is not synonymous with amnesty to cultists. The federal government has granted amnesty to militants. 
So whether we grant amnesty here or not, amnesty has already been granted to militants, so that's fine. But there's a new trend of cultism that is beginning to create more problems in Wakreke. And that's something that we should begin to focus on. What I would advise our youths, in all honesty, and I say this without fear or favor, that cultism does not benefit from amnesty under Nigerian laws. Every police unit, there is, there, is a, there is a special arm against cultism. And if you are caught as a cultist or carrying out cult activities, you will be done for. The law will take its course. Let's be aware. Traditionalism, Christianity, oath-taking, and relevancy. Now, again, this is not so much of a problem, but a lot of people have said, that the Wakrika indigenous religion, WIR, sits pretty comfortably with Christianity, however uncomfortably the latter feels about the former. In other words, Christianity may feel very uncomfortable with the Wakrika indigenous religion, but the Wakrika indigenous religion does not feel too uncomfortable with the... So, whether we like it or not, we are in the same space. We are all operating. Those who wish to be administered oath under Wakrika indigenous religion should be allowed to do so. And, but it should not be compulsory. Similarly, those who wish to take oaths on the Holy Bible or Holy Quran should equally be allowed to do so with a caveat that unlike previous oaths, the oath taker should bind himself or herself to a cause, a cause on himself or herself and her future generations. Should they woefully fail to carry out the development and progress of Wakereke. In your event, the Bible, men am now, now, oath in the Barokeke. Oath in the Barokeke. But we should begin to hold our leadership to account. There is no other way. A people that think that, oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, pa, let me just, you know, let me just mind my business. There is no development that comes like that. We need to begin to hold people to account. Environment and human rights. And I'm suggesting that WNC should come to the rescue. And let me explain this. Under Chapter 2 of our Constitution, environment, environmental rights are not non justiciable. It recognizes the right to environment and all that, but they are, not, they, are not, they, are not, they are non justiciable. They are non justiciable because Section 6 of Section 60 of our Constitution says that all, the, all those you know, objectives that are stated in Chapter 2 fundamental objectives and directive principles of state policy that you cannot take government to court. However, 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 we have, the, we have what they call the African Charter on Human and People's Rights. And that charter has been domesticated into Nigerian law. So what that means is that the African Charter also expresses that people have right to the environment. And we're saying without prejudice to the items that are listed in what I call the exclusive legislative list, to which the federal legislature has what I call jurisdictional competence to make laws, nothing precludes the states from making laws and regulations regarding agriculture, which is taken to include fishing and fisheries in rivers, lakes, waterways, ponds, and other inland waters within their respective state territories. In other words, that's why you have federal environmental acts and then you have state environmental laws. So we cannot, in, in fact, because environment is neither made, mentioned in the ex exclusive or legislative list, some people have argued that it's actually in the residual list, which means local governments can also pass bylaws on the environment. So we must begin to take our environment seriously. And uh, in some of the recent decisions of the courts, in Jonah, Gwem Rivers, or Shell, SPDC, or rather SPDC, uh, we, we, uh, the, the court basically recognized that, uh, that such rights uh, are in, in some cases enforceable. And any violation of these laws, including companies, will instantly attract severe penal penalties. Now, we have what they call the fundamental rights enforcement procedure rules. Those rules are essentially to enable people who complain about a breach of their fundamental human rights to go to court and seek redress. Our people are generally poor. Our communities are poor. Our families are generally not so well off. So what we are asking for, I was the, I was the local coordinator of the Bayesa Oil and Environment Commission under um, uh, Governor Dixon. 
And we had uh, expatriates from all over the world uh, that came around. And we discovered that a lot of the pollution that was taking place is because either our local governments or the state governments do not really care. They leave it entirely to the people to deal with. And I'm thinking that, look, since the Supreme Court has now recognized that individuals can come forward, social organizations can come forward and fight this cause on behalf of those people, WNC should take the lead. I have just five minutes, and I'm going to finish in five minutes, I assure you. Beyond conflicts, hostilities, and wars to strategic collaboration, cooperation, and partnership with work request neighbors. The high table emphasized that point here, and I don't need to re-emphasize it. I was traveling from my house in, I'm still in Uniport at the moment. I was coming here. I passed all kinds of communities to be here. Let somebody tell me, somebody that is not living in Ogu, tell me that they did not pass through a community to get here. So what am I saying? We need to forge strategic partnerships, collaboration and cooperation. As in those days, we, we had a lot of hostilities. Yes, there were, there were hostilities that were necessitated because our phobias wanted to protect their land and territory. But our land and territory has been fairly, fairly developed. We, we know them. So what we need to do now is to see how we can strategically partner with our neighbors. Look at the East-West Road. Those of us who came here from Port Harcourt knew how we managed to get here. As bad as it is, what stops youths, even the local government areas, from Okrika, Ogubolo, Eleme, Bori, you know, you name it, to come together and say, look, let, let's, let's put up a joint statement and call on the federal government, you know, to do something. The Riverside governor has tried, he has said this, I read it, he said he called on the federal government that they should not do this. This should be repaired. But we cannot continue like this. We need to forge those partnerships. We should revise and update the Okrika Master Plan of 1973 to 2003. There has been no other plan. That master plan, sincerely speaking, if they had implemented it, would have seen much more progress than we have seen today. They need to revise that master plan. Wakrike National Con uh, Congress, you have a lot of work to do. You know, and what you're doing is fantastic, it's great. But you can still continue to put our professionals together. The man that is sitting there is someone I know very well, Professor TKS uh, Abam. He is also uh, one of the uh, gurus in this area. He can help. There are a whole lot of things that we can do. Uh, we should revise that master plan, revisit it, and see how we can get that. Now, it's instructive. The whole of Wakrike, there's no higher education institution. There is no university, there is no college of education, there is no polytechnic. In the whole of Wakrike, just think back, since 1940 when OGS was established, till today. So how did we, how, it's, like, it's like the chairman of Ogubolo said, we've we just, we just forgotten ourselves. And others are making progress all over the place. And yet we know what institutions can do for any community. Look at Choba, look at Alo. Look at Boni with the oil and gas polytechnic. We need something. Our, our, our political leaders should begin to put their heads together. We need something like that. Now, unity as an imperative for sustainable development. Again, this was highlighted by Professor Chief Zeb Obepe in his paper, Unity as an Imperative for Sustainable Deve Development in Wakreke. And I cannot add more to that. Now, we need to be united. We need to focus on the sustainable development goals, which are not different from the general goals for Nigeria. But we need to go ahead and actualize it. Permit me to read this final word. The Wakrika National Convention is doing an incredibly great job of uniting Wakrika around the theme of building the broken walls of unity for political and economic renaissance. Their indefatigable, dogged, and sanguine enthusiasm for uniting Wakrike for sustainable development is worthy of commendation. Uh, I will quote Chief Senator George Sekibor again, in a, where he said, developing Ogu for posterity, uh, uh, he said that we need to refocus uh, on the issue of leadership, security, politics, education, and economy. And again, I have no reason to disagree with him. One cannot agree more 
that developing Ogu, in this case, let's just replace Ogu with Wakreke, for posterity is an achievable task within a set time frame. He maintained that, however, we need much more progressive leadership to drive the process. While agreeing with him on the need for an Ogu community assembly of men and women of diverse knowledge, skills and competences, with a zeal for community development, the same assembly, once the proposal is accepted, should be replicated in all the clans of Wakreke. Look, towns, are, they, they need their sons and daughters that have the knowledge. The world is driven by a knowledge economy. It's no longer about, you know, just being there and enjoying royalty. No, it's much more than that. People sit down and plan and strategize. I'm aware that recently, recently, just recently, they had a student's union election for Thai, Thai student's union election. The boy who came, who became president, who won the presidency, eventually became the Senate leader for the Ogoni students. And they fused into the wider Ogoni you know, network. Other ethnic groups are organizing themselves, rearranging themselves, strategically posited, you know, positioning themselves to, to take advantage of the future. What are we doing? That is why we must continue to support the WNC in what it is doing so that we can move Wakreke forward. <laughs> Permit me to borrow from a notable quote of Nigeria's acclaimed author and writer, Chino Achebe, which I also found on the Wakreke USA website. He says, you know, and their motto is, Kreke se toroko mugose. Very interesting. They're in America. But look at what they are saying. That's their motto. Krikeseme toroko mu gose. That is why they are there. And we must, we must, in all fairness, let us clap for them one more time. He says, a man who calls his kinsmen to a feast does not do so to redeem them from starving. They all have food, at least in various proportions, in their own houses. When we gather in the moonlight at the village ground, or even in the town square like this, it is not because of the moon. Every man can see it in his own compound. We come together because it is good for kinsmen to do so. Therefore, let us continue with the team spirit and enjoy the power of togetherness. Seko Biria. Let's unite, let's smile. Not because we don't have problems, but because we are stronger than the problems, provided we continue to remain united. Thank you so much. Obara Farie, that's not enough. I expect a standing ovation. Obara Farie. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. That was powerful. Hello. I'm sure you agree with me. It was Hello. really, Hello. really Hello. powerful. Thank you so much, Professor Bibi and Lucky Paul Warica, for that very incisive lecture for today. I have learned so much. And me in particular, I'm very elated and privileged that I'm here today to witness this epoch making event. Like someone would say, in my leg time. That in my lifetime, I witnessed this. I am really grateful. Thank you very much, sir. Without further ado, I'd like to hand over the microphone to the chairman of today's occasion, Chief Adokie Amersi Maka Owolo, to direct the affairs of the panel discussion. But before that, we'll also want the Dynamic Voices International to be on standby as soon as the chairman is done with the directives the dynamic voices of uh, Ogu, international voices, will come on stage. Hello. I'm going to say that 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 I'm going particularly um, erudite uh, lecturer, Professor Ibibia Lucky Paul Worika. Well done. And the men are actually once in a while. They're all like a second. Maybe I'm a man. I'm not going to get a camera. 
So, Pakili Jean, five minutes. Panel in more time. Man, can do some here. Let me, professors, man, I'm making a book. My isms, man, Timana. So, men are panelists, ma. In Kelly, baby, second from a cabarabo, second from a cabarabo. Yes, about my and a kind of a panelist. Are you ready? Okay, so over to you. All right, Dynamic Voices International. Two minutes. Two minutes. Panelists, get ready. Hope you are where you have three, three minutes each. Panelists, you have three, three minutes each. Three minutes, right? Agree? All right. All right. Thank you.
Yao Omiyabaka. He did very, very well. All right. Am I in a bull? A cassette with double. Ugubulo second degree man, second degree to be double. Alapu. Wabu berem ti beswa. Um, paisu wa berem bi ti beswa se wa to win match ya sege. Panelist match ya sege. Please obie kuruma. Two weeks from now, we have the perfecting holiness coming up at Okirigia Grammar School. Me ba me angas ma bangba kere kebe ya wa rapu go go mangba. The Sunday school. Conference, the mega conference, Pasusu, meaning Bawala me. And Borasege, you might be here. What panel is my chance? Please, three, three minutes. Chairman said, once it's three minutes, I'll walk to you and take the microphone. And I'm going to be able to So, ladies and gentlemen, I'll invite. All right. Um, moderator. Is now to direct. Please, our moderator is Alabo Professor Zeb Isaac Obipe Ogulasha, the second. Orindikabe, Niyasi Orindikabe, Niyesu Abebe, Udugwa Pro Monabe, Professor Ibi Tamno Aminigo, the first panelist. Please, you take your turn. Three minutes. Thank you very much. Uh, let me just add a few things to what our very erudite microphone. We all know that history is what makes each and every one of us. We have several communities, but how many of us have the history? If you know the history of Wakreke, you will know that. We have been fools for the past 80 years. In Okuru town, we have Mercy Bowoi. Owoi people are in Green Mama. Do you know why Owoi is in Okuru town? Go and find out from your history. At Waka Mama, Waka Mama. Find out where Oriobu Gila people are in Okreka. And find out why they are in Okubo local government area. You will find out that. If we knew our history, we would have discovered that we had been fools for the past 80 years when we were fighting and making a lot of uh, noise and trouble. Two, to add again to what our erudite lecturer told us, we have neighbors, but when did we arrive? Wakereke arrived this our shores in 8980. Go and check excavation. There is evidence of excavation at Okochiri, evidence of excavation at, at Ogoloma. And Igbo scholars and excavators found out that people in Okreka and people at Kri are about the oldest, earliest settlers in the former eastern region. It's documented by Prof. Wan and Zenwa. Let us read some of our history. Now, if each of us, if every community goes to write their history, you find that a lot of the problems we have grappled with over the years would dissolve almost uh, automatically. Next, why do our neighbors who came only in 1460, our enemy neighbors, 1460, why do our rabbis neighbors who came during slavery, while they are blaming people who are brothers speak a language that originally sounds like Abua, they were all in Portacot before the Abua left they are blown out to join us. They went to where they are today. Check the history. We are here, but then corrupt people are part of us. Have we? Well, by the way, the organizers, please next time invite the corrupt people to join us. They are part of us. When they say Bani, Boni, and Opubu, Nkoro is part of us. You go there, Edamanabo, uh, Atombere. Their names are our names. Am I correct, everybody? So let me conclude by saying that to dissolve a lot of the unnecessary challenge of the Wakrika people's ownership of the major part of the city, not that we can capture the city anymore. Professor Dr. Abam has written all that. 
But if you check this history, you find out that if we go on to do excavation, our neighbors, the rabbis neighbors, will not be making a lot of the statements they are making. Because excavation will bring out everything. They came in the 17th or so century during slavery. Obio came to Iribi. From Iribi, he migrated with two sons, Evo and Apara. Then they came to Oro Evo. Oro Evo is Woji of today, and so on and so forth. So, yes, so, so, so if we if we find out from excavation a lot of the history, Absolutely. many of the problems we have grappled with over the years would have been solved. Then even we, we will be able to deal with that problem. What about the fact that we have thank a you. very large island at Okumbama, and thank yet you, we don't you. have a modern school? So the, the speaker said it. Thank you. Even a modern school, if we didn't have the modern school in, in Okrika, we would have had the modern school at Okumbama. Thank you very much. I'm going to have to do this. I'm going to have to do this. I'm going to Local government chairman. I'm going to have that lecture. I'm going to have to do this. 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 If you're doing wrong, it can be okay, baby. It is the responsibility by our own traditional practices. Erma, before I met to meet you, I'm going to ask my own. At the time, in a bar, on Gome. Erma, la boy. Erma, on my way, la boy. I'm going to ask my own. I'm going to ask my own. I'm going to represent the capacity. Despite that, my substantive status is Omar Wari Alabo. I'm going to put my semen yon. What person by the way, I did my day, of course, I'm okay. From our conduct. I had to take permission from the Amayana Pum. In the other way, I'm a moderator. He did wrong. The prof apparently did not realize the error he had committed or was committed. I call his attention. I don't want to embarrass him. Move me in my because now I'm I'm a young person. You walk away, you care. Choose him. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And then, Professor Aminigo, you are a highly respected uh, scholar. This is Yes, uh, let me. Oh, I am a I am a puna. I am a puna. Ye, a roteke. I am a irima me. I be a In fact, in do get man, I tell me this now. So, and the poo 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 na. And bo, arma bo, I be a irima we used to remove the cap and then we go back. Remember, Odugo mi mi nigba wa ni e da wa anaka anigo e is your fine boy chairman of the big mo we can mapa isi mi nigba wa take me fine me chairman bagabo or to be a gbembe eh e maka ma e tamno ma ma professor jogma toruku e boy or to be a che take e to me o si me bagabo dig me ma 1975 o ye di me primary school mi ama Elementary five B, oh yeah, dear man. So, sir, it will be right. You are taking me. You are not booking me. Am I not po? Allah po? Armani when you be what you be, what you be. So, mokwa chimbia bo, ani Professor Kingdom, Abam, please come for your summary, sir.
Thank you, Prof. Am I in Apple? Um, my Lord Bishop, I am in Apple. I don't me. Me, Yafre is a simple one. I was asked to come and review, critique, highlight some of the merits and demerits, and then uh, perhaps present uh, a small some of my views, but uh, I'm sure they are going to be very minor. They would not alter the content of the paper. So Abebiana, the paper was a very well-structured one, and it's also very inspiring. Thank you very much, Professor Worika. <laughs> Number two, the speaker in presenting the paper approached it with utmost humility. I'm sure you could see that humility in the way he presented the paper. He also expressed hope for a renaissance of the Okrika nation, he has explained what renaissance means. A kind of rebirth, a transformation, a kind of regeneration to the, the, the influential Okrika, a joint nation that we used to know. The speaker also recognizes that several previous attempts to galvanize the resources of Wakrika nation together to overcome their setbacks did not yield any expected results until now. For this reason, he sees this gathering as a paradigm shift from our now usual complacency to a state of Wakrika patriotism. We hope that we are building up the patriotism, and we hope that this will lead us to where we want to be. In his paper, he interrogated the causes of disunity. He drew inspiration from Martin Luther King. I'm surprised he didn't mention this when he was uh, but it's part of his paper, and I think I should just read, I should quote that section. It says, we must learn to live together as brothers, or perish as fools. So when we fight against each other, we are, we are automatically seen as fools. It's only when we act together in commonality, then, we are, then, then you see the wisdom, you know, that the wisdom that God has given to man. He wants that if we do not choose the opportunity or the platform offered by WNC to unite, then the alternative part is likened to what you call a factory reject. Do you know what a factory reject is? A factory, in the factories, they produce several goods. When they test them, those bad ones are set aside. Those are the ones that are imported to Nigeria and other third world countries. Do we want to be like a factory reject? Because when the midst of our neighbors, they're all prospering. We seem to be stagnant in our old ways and methods. In his uh, conceptual framework, he defines Okrika people and the geography of Okrika nation. I used to tell people, Okrika nation, we, are, we seem to be the only nation that is shrinking. All of that. Uh, our neighbors are all expanding at our expense. We don't know our boundaries. I've said this in several fora. I think that one of the tasks of the WACRIC, uh, of the WNC would be to really engineer the process to establish our boundaries properly. He, also, he has also talked about the culture of WACRIC nation, which he describes as the totality of the way of life of the people, WACRIC nationalism. Here, he merely hopes that our nationalism can be funneled to resolving our several conflicts and help in the attainment of sustainable development for the Wakrika people, as well as prosperity. He explores the subject of rebuilding the broken walls of unity. In choosing, in uh, broken walls here was used symbolically to represent the loss of stature, the stagnation and the disunity in Wakrika. He, it, it's also an admission that the foundations and the structural elements that make up the walls have not performed as expected or designed. He extracts this subject to understand the why, the how, and the extent of the broken walls. He identified issues and challenges militating against Wakrika unity, which, he, which are considered largely as internal causes. And this will include the Jew rivalries, the politics of bitterness, the deliberate provocations and distrust of each other, the chieftaincy succession crisis, the chieftaincies driven by self-interest, weak institutions of governance. Hello, hello. 
the uh, conflict of traditional versus Christianity. Please, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Sorry, let me just uh, quickly uh, take the last uh, section, which I think is very instructive. Please, with your permission. All right. Uh, 13 out of 17 sustainable development goals relates to the development of a girl child. If you, several other speakers in other fora, other fora have said that we are ripe for a university. Why are we sluggish? And lastly, I'd say that we don't have a better competitive edge against our neighbors and our adversaries than in deploying quality education that produces the human capital that, can, that cannot uh, be beaten by one-on-one -on -one competition, ethnicity, tribalism, that can penetrate political barriers and, and respected for his worth. Education should be our new gravity, our new core that will pull everyone together, every kingdom to the center, that will dissolve the differences between Jew and units uh, and unite our aspirations for a respected, prosperous, and stronger cricket nation. Such a dream is possible even today. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Please, Israel Asem Nassau, Chief Elect, take the podium. Three minutes, three minutes. Three minutes. great minds of Kisena and Abuchame. Anibe Kuro Tenye, or do go minicricket, my premena, Wabi Poko saw, Wamoyana. Bibo Boso Forica, Wayabaye, or Fourier. Or begin to go me, Jamie, I go and maybe go me, and saw me and a car, and I bought or done died to go me, Tatario do get any Juberami and here. Meberami Meberami Boroche Bere, Berami Boroche, and go if I can, I mean I be. I can book a Edabe at that Marawari boy, Tuoni Ju, Ingma, Jamawari boy, Konyama, or my new Konyu Jubera do go see you go, a boda dagade. Me and me take bread to Wale Grike, Che and it take Bobby, me and me take Bobby, a book at Takataka, and it won't jock, a Konama Bere to go be a Sigigo, a Bunaka Takataka, and I be a young and I saw you, and a Banaga. Am I going to begin to go, man? What could people go soccer? Am I an Apuna, a Lapona Bere? A kind boke, River State Bay, Olokoyo, you know, Dirigan Kormame, a Lapo, Toroko, almost me, a young embarrass me. Chogo e gomen me ne gen koromo loko mi bo kere kemi ngere bo fukan bi. Opiki jembera du gomen wa ti are gberi na aka mi ku be aku mi wa ni ti a e. Imbre be memba ori na bar bar bi bi fe ka be bar imbre ke. Wa bi bara ma me na bo loka sike mi na numbro bo ro forika alabo AKD. O governorship contest asike bi ni ma no na ye mi asike a bar road para ko ti kiribo. Mi na numbro ta mi so le o me nga kere ke ni chi e mi no wu so me. You know wu so so obo kere ke la obo NRC voti me. But remember, I'm not going to be a good person. I'm not going to be a good person. Then, I'm not going to be a good person. 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 Why we're not gonna tear it? But me not be we're not gonna tear it. My ear never hear me hum. Me not dancing up we're not gonna tear it. My knock one come me. Me not numbro. But I forget. Begin to be bo. Demand tennis. You know a government be chew. Obeleka si bero. Do go me osome. Badereke. Me not numbro. We apply a begin to be chew me. Government be. A N P P N P A pona. A G A pona. In 1983, nebera ma duga sege. Oki lo ewa promise ye mo oye ka sike apa yo ni mechuga obe ware wa na do mo be mo bara na ga o bara poko choro sun sara memba ko sme ni memo chu kere ni dai fun baba yes ini dugo wa prema e gbe na ka na tie rap maso ini mo ina wenga sike ini dugo ma ini dugo dugo ni pre na kere ke sme mo sme dugo me e na ba na ba bere de we bara ofori e asike o pigi dugo me na wa mi e wa bi pe ogbo soka e ani wo ogbo so me yes mi ni gbo ogbo so me but e so gbo mi ye ba makama Kerekebe wa bo bo ya na bara second obo mi owo obo mi o gbo no obo mi o gbo baka me but is yo bo so me be yo bo amajike ma asiko pigi du go me na wa dok bo re na na eh 
Ere ya wa be bara fara be church ya manga nga mena mo go tamu no tega mena isi bo church mu ga go re mo go si bo e are man gba bari ma wuni ngba o orukoro orukoro ab man gba si apoke amanga nga bara ani be kuluma ya makrike no bie kuruma na be ya bo mena poko aka aka nga kungu ab ma me mo go tori tebe da wa pira e wa pa bi pe gboso mo ya na o me baka all right give ta mangi Amanya na po kreke besa ro kre ni me Mianga ye ma duko bobe wabo da wona peke kain bo na nya na be eh duko e ma duko bobe o duko e ma ebu ap me na re duko samok ma ye tan ye se chua o mo be me na na ini be me na bo me na manganga bara wabo peke na eh mono krisi se bia bara bia ya mo duko o duko yoro ko me na me na ganga bara me ani to mi se tare wa nemiye to mi gogo isi mo kuma iya ma bo anango mi so ni iyo ndanga mu e wo be krikri bo ni be anana gen bo mi na bo mi e ini wo e poko na krikri e ro ni nem bia na iya mi na ba anango mi e ya re gogo ye bara e bara fake an se ki mi o ko mi na manganga ko mi wa bara ni se ye chinke ine ka sa manganga bara do ko mi wo ni me bebe ine da sa sara ma mi ni no ko mi be ine da be ni kan bo bia an tanga di nem ka puma na pe ki na se na puma na amo kwa me wo se ni ni na kwa kuma idukara me ni be are kan bo bia o pigi duko me na na wa me na amanganga bara bo kunya na osinya na se jumo jumo wo pripri me wa pigi na senapo wo osisi me bia be ne elaye la me me kriken bo be oso me na bu nemi oku e wa pigi bebe me na toku yibo anika be ba wo yibo ya ma pri me toku mo e fia fia ka ye ye do ko mie ere ma sen bo in bo re me bebe in bo da take re ma bia ane bo in bo fom so ni nyin bo bo me bebe in bo bebe choke bo men tok me fom ka ok ma mo ko jumbo tok ni ka se bara se won la me bebe ibo si bo so me ara ma gbare wa mie me wa gbor be pe won nya na ke wa pe ki na aye re ma me ka se cho be ane mi ne kreke se wa i go ni kon ku won ne mi me pe ki wa fi ko ma pe ki jumbo jumbo won pe pre me to mo ni wa ne me ani ni go se wa chin your class mi me ye alali se ki la san bebe christmas la san bebe jama po ini so mi na mama wo mu bia ana ti be we go ni kon di me go se ni ora jukuro won were so pre be ya na ga mo no bia ok ma mo ko igo na po ma bu ok ma mi ne re mi pe ki na na bara fie fie ari e to po ware won mu bia mi ki so ni ni pre ke pre ke bo be ora du mo ke mi na igo ni kon bara go se na ni as to mo ni ma Peki na ibok ma wani emi wa peki na ye bu so apo won so ye ya no be me bu wa peki na ileke ma won chua jiye ani oduko ye me na ye biri bara mi ne kri ken ma wa mu yo mu yo mi no do me in wa ne man peki toro so me ani me o rechi mi na do me me moko mi ngi kri se ni ngba in ye ari e gbere na chochi mu me e sense prince o popo re mi ni ma em eh okosona bia bia abalala be china Feni na popo na mini chua ye. Thank you. Mira ocha na kriken ye. Abo ibu nembi aseke. Malake. Abo ibu nembi aseke. You know come na inuwa popo apu. Roko na no. Me me na manganga bara. You know come na eh eh. Ok ma me na kriken ma. Me na ye biri bara me. Wa bara se ye chinke ano kos. Me na gbe komne gan ma. Peke na biya bene. Wa inji ku. Wa eh. Inji. Inji. Mia baka. Mia baka. Mia baka. Oh ya manga wari so. Oh mia baka. Thank you. One minute. Just wrap up. Wrap up to our my kings. Christiana, get ready. Yeah, my kings. The chairman of the occasion and the host, the local. Moving, 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 moving. And also the entire congregation. Actually, I'm here to just throw some few highlights on what our distinguished professor has said concerning issues. I just have a personal view that I wish to actually say. In the year April 26, 1965, was when the stool of Amina Bogan was recognized. And I want to actually say of Phantom on the fact that the issue, the stool concerning the Amarabo Bokrika should be a natural stool. It should be a classless stool. There should be no class attached to it because it should be a natural stool. So let's just make it a classless stool. That's just one of my views concerning that. And also concerning the issue, what the speaker has said, concerning political bitterness, a sort of political economy and rejuvenance for societal changes. What Krika entirely we need to go into politics to start implementing policies that will affect our political development and bring about changes in our Krika at large. And please, to also enable us, I want to direct this to the chairman of the occasion, please. We'll be so happy if a university can be cited 
in Wakrike community. Thank you very much. God bless you. All right, Amayanapo. government chairman, Mena Professors Ni. I'm an Irina, a Rukriniabe, a tapre tapre ke. Okuma Kurakaye, me Kurake. Mikri Yoko and Bobby. In your peripheral kere. Over me, the community kere. Wa lecture on Pokime. Ungwa lecture abi of ya Ikua Bekinaima, Bokele Kesima. Why did I bear and can be a lot of community prayer? Orima, Okube, Tonye, I don't want me to carry it. But why, 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 Classification is a statutory thing. It is either first, second, or third. There is no provision for classlessness. So you are in name. So I'm going to say, hey, you're going to say, you're classless. Eh, eh, eh. I'm going to say, 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 I'm going to and after that, yeah, it be me. Oh, come on, you are name me. My political decisions, ma. You know, it's a political decision which will be um, facilitated by the exercise of the will of the person in authority. Uh, for you to receive such favor, in quotes, you must be on the right political platform. That is just how it, it works. And that is why I mentioned earlier that it is, it is opposite. That we don't completely extricate ourselves from the politics of our environment. We should enlighten, we should be enlightened, and we should enlighten our followers and subjects to take correct political decisions that will be in the interest of all not the year, ma, I mean, uh, boss of the soda can be appointed the premier. Eh, eh, eh. Year, ma, I mean, boss of the soda, he be a mini, mina, ma, bobia. I need what to carry. I'm your backer. All right. Because it's a bit of a me backer. Boko, why yeah, mamba? Lecture prayer. I love my quam. I'm not my quam. Panelists, no, by the people, quam. Watch it as well. Repertoire. Three minutes. Three minutes. Me the rapporteur will tell us what we're going with. Yafre, Sasarame. Mianga, Mimba Wabo, Degi Kwan Wengimi. What do you say, Mana? Kien Sadida Mbamana. A Yamianga, Toru say, A dafe, you give him up, Madaya, and a cripple cripple man do go, and a young man abo Kuro Tembia Bara. Tatarewa Saki Sigi. O kwensa ma ye me olap ma dugo finji ma me mianga katetibe dawa perebi apo ni pigi ni chen kaso gono gbana me ansiki ni pigi e kase mi tibi dabi a bobe mo che me ori ane me na labo chief adokie amie simaka kalo wolo o wolo o wolo for me omne ganma. Obo sigi oro kwembo omi gbaka won se ni to ma ngba be so sigi o pigi gani ma ngana gani ma be sa so ni ya du gana ti be wa kwen sa ma ye ma big na ma sa re lame mi na labo be orere ani chief adokie ami esimaka owolo mi gbaka Oboy gan maseni, mini kreke se rebu bwa mayen up mamma be me. Ani, 
Well, an Ocosmanite bank, a man ganga barabona, and a man up work as a gun of produce me say many. In a chugubis, many are worse on night bampo, walk or ru, and a go say, Me and night bamp barabo, me and name barabo, or more bemanana, or a little corsa on Bessoni, Naira, sona si, or more so little barabo, pick a barato, I say, Miku Bramel, log, go map my more beme. Thousand, sona si, hundred thousand. I am a boss of Segabo, I know Bo, me a backers in Bena, Bacapo, me a meat to be Dabia Gussi, Barashwas, me a man of man and tanga being a mass missing. I'm a bella matman and up massy, Miku Bramish Bull, my Terracora Boros are Segabo, and would be once up my mere backer or was any in a beme. I said, Go pigna, Baras and Anne Bomena, Mena Kubrami, and a sow up a baby, Bacatain, and a mere apprebia see one nanga me, and me borrow creek. Ibo sabe okwe kwa waprebo and it be dama me wa kwa rewenge me wa kireke se me won se ni se kire ngba won die na me na pe ogbo so me ane me na bo tenye won be ogbo mi be ti be da obe won se me o da ni ologo kembo tamuno williams o pa gbo se ki o mi abaka se to ngba won be me antanga bing na ma pigi si me se ni me ko bra me mi ese me ngba and we'll be one sap man. Pegan, if man give me both to be done, you give me pretty bobby, me back of a man. Or a big number, guess it. Oh, Fubo, men are both saucy. Me, 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 yes, and baby, one sabe, and be a goosey. And me, but also creaky. Me, Ogubolo, second, a creamy bed to be double. I knew Ologo Campbell, Barista Vicent, Nemo Boca, DSS, ROS. Bo, Peggy Poma, Ibosa. Monseni, Ming by Miko and Miko say, Well, Mango Beme. In a change, Seni, Ogubolo, second cream, be sure, Benana, Omana Bumi, and a black man was okay, Dame Bo, and a watching Suye. Pigay by Benana, and Okmobi, a Bella Maya was so me, and a Miko Brame, Teron Beba no Mia, Okuma, Omi and Menana, ye Mingba, and Ogubolo, Semebo, Sake, Sewamu, Bako, ye me, and Sake, Bembrini, picking me back at the time, no be, and our own way, Mio Gubolo Pangame. Well, the Gismak, I say, and you were so cabo, and ye, baby, and me, 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 Baka, almost in one beam. Pick a cubic rock almost in one beam, and I'm in Cogmaya, and I'm most me, be me, me, I don't answer about me, yes, I'm automatic, me, 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 Barabani, me, yes, I'm Okuma, and a banging and a sinny shake of Mobrini, come a man, and I'm not the booger, me, me, or all about me, and a baby, and was so behind. And I'm a boss of crickety, no can I sing about prick, I shoot, can't like I, and me a rebel. Me na amaya na bo, amaya na bo of Bolo Kingdom. Wa pegin wa chime. Ye da bo kwa yon wa konse ni. Mi kubara mi begu bo apma wa pere mbe sege. Oro kwa yon krepu krepu ma yon. Sasarama ma yon na tero bolo na wa kwa pere mbe sege. Da wa ye bala bo ye mi na tero wa kuru ma ye. Na na in oro po kwa yon na ke wa moro kwa ma be da wa ye baka me. Na na oro kubie bo begin ni masoni ni diri gyo ma. In a cubit, small remini, a year cheese, and both chair, both near a chair, grommas, and will be a more so, and near a resh. Why be any yoga? Me, one more yoga, quen was a my baby, men by sake, or quen a pelepe, one more than a she. Where I can eat that was say, you are a moon. I know best so see what you want, but not the yoga. Men can get sebi, a pabida, a pabida, but me was any professor once you came in love, my watching chin. Or a cana, who could be a grandma. Ye, why picking me by saga in the chin? Nana, or cause my pama, did he can win a jig laugh and gas apple, while most in the chin. Or an bubble more come your consul crickly. Men were both some massing, and guano, while Bobby let me be, but more so, eh? Anne, lecture proper. A rock when me come up, Bobby. I am not sure if I am a person who is 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 a Pange pange bora re o kwe me. Tata re, na na ye wa ma ye wa wa ye me na toro diga ro kwe me. Inde pange pange wa ni smoko no ra ni pufinji me. Wa kere kere wa shi o kwe me. Na na papa ama wa mo shi amu nsi. Wa ye gboron pe wa ni shi amu nsi. Inde o kwe me guma ni fi ye no me na kubebo. Ani wa kere kere mbo kwe me ani fi ye me na na in koko ma ye. Beni togul ma pogo ma wa kere kere me ani ani fi ye. Mene ngba bori ye wa kere kai. 
ana no mi ambe sege wa kreke ambe oko mi nda ni sama mu loku no ana ogu gboro mu tewo la mu no tewo gboro mu ele meje chong la mu no nda ni wengi mu loku no opu funje wa premena wa kreke ambe cho mi an mu la yo baga me ogu ana gboro mu mu kreke bi ela so gboro mu akoti kiri yo la so ana gboro mu biri ne gono la yo mbe omi e ana gboro mu la yo opu ma baga me ana wa kreke ambe be bo ana duba loku e ana gboro so wa pigi pufunje wa premena mi na mi 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 na ma ganga <laughs> Bebe ye won so se no arpe me ase ke mi na pelu ami mi ngba ani di pa mo me na kreke se mi mi ngba sa ektoro go ani pere bia e ase ko piki chi edu arpe me na rebuilding and manage e fia poto na ma chema poto na ma chema fia ye o piki mu dugo me poto na ma chema she so goro cross e poto na ma chema ase ke ni ye so to ma me wara ngba da po dugo ko ma be na ogbo ki aye ye ni ga se so goro koro ga na ma chema bia ye Ophoria. Or I can have Sogoro Koro me, Tommy no Bembe Bani Digime. Sogoro Koro, Dapu in Philippine Dugo Banana. In another say what I'm by a long man, and in me a banana, and a dachema in the Dioreke. Tommy Pigini Dioreke, Dapu Pigi, Ossidibe. What I'm by me Dugo Banana, and Mane, Agbosso, or Borbo, Wapranag Bay. Kulumabo, or Bagama, Bipio Bosso, Digibokaye, Pegamo Dugo Me. Juju be pua ye. Menga mena mena mna pua ni kota ni dugo me. Che arai madegwa. Ndare wengi muloko. Mena yu kolo ma che ari simao. Che mien sa ribo miyo ke la. Aseke alagba degi. Ngbalo degi. Apala degi. Agiji degi. Che ari degi bua. Che ama ina puna. Alapuna bele degi bua. Opigo kubebo dugo mena. Digi. Erenge rongma. Oye wa mbara se dumo koho. Wa mbara yongma. Ani bitembia. Wa mbara yongma. Ani bitembia. Oko oko sinia be ngbalo. Opigo wansi wa pere Thank you very much. Thank you very much. David Solomon in Orane, Wakrike National Congress, United States of America, Anatebe Daboy, President, Wakrike National Congress, USA, Mr. David Solomon. Please take the microphone for our vote of thanks. Ya na boku ni mo, amaya na bo, boku kwenye ni me, a lot bishop, a kwenye me sa, chairman ogubolo local government area sa boku kwenye ni me, and mina labo, amani rina biyoko mbaka se umine bema, umo kwa inge, adugo mine prebia ye is this. Mina da po mana mina inga po makona na aduko mine pere wabari o usoma wabari jumo jumo na ye jinama ani no kona na aduko mine pere ye wajumo jumo belama pasisi ani aduko ya ye o mini mama for coming may God continue to bless the Wakrike nation o mi abaka. Thank you very much. That's brief. Please, Ebaradiki, Power Bank Omiye, Thompson, Anana Bomiye, Thompson. Yeah, yeah, baby. Kelebo Pujoke. Iye na po, ya apeke, mena amalabo. Chief Dr. Alphios Paul Worika, Chief of Worika Work in New House, Honorable Federal Commissioner, Public Complaints, Complaints Commission of River State. Obopeke, Paul Mia Bacassini, Omina Mangasin of Mamma Bear Document. Chief Arico Rabe Mia Bacca. 
Amaira po, Ukraine me. Ikasa labo. Ya look at my chairman. Yeah, my guest lecturer, particularly. Let me stand on the existing protocol. Yafri. Wa mengba te give ex afri ma. Arbo to ma. Me baka sobe. Bekaba me baka me. Beka ibieke. Ana te be bifri ngbo e. Me baka be me. Ora gba yin mie. Mengba mi asafri mi. Me na. Me na po. And me sa bo bebe so mi. Mianga sima po na mianga furika po na. O kepe kepe bo. Tonta furi te kipe ngebe. O kwa mianga ba help ma. In bo mianga sima mi. Nani me be ma be. Anatebe. Bala fwa mina be o mi e. Me mi mi e be. O kwa mianga ba rapunu priye mi. Ena mianga sima mi. Ane be na. Ye ni ye atok me. In bo bala na sima ye. Ane diki. Stop me back on the I like my apple. Men are facilitators. Oh, yes, sir. Men are delegates. Oh, me, young man, bow, I'm not for my. Sekoroma. Sebo manga. Me, 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 sir, no more. Baby, so I mean. Open your back on the other My Lord Bishop. Open your back. Wapi kemi yako kwa jisi Okise ni babena Mengba Wate yiko sa mengba Nani bebe so Ba Na brebe na kombi ya mengba Wapi ya be So Wame na bo so se ni peke bebe na Mengba wate kwa mengba Bina bina Sime mengba pre Wate di mambi ya sike Juto sa kwa revo Mie baka Okele berise Ebo gbana Mianga, Odigokma, Mine, Mikobri Amebo, Fere, Nwoto, Perapu Goye Goye, Wa mina poko ye chwa warabe, Wa se mina poko chwa emi, Ane, Ba, Okumu choche ne la, E chwa abia ye, E reman ne kase mi, Okbo mi bo fere menge boye bebebe, Ane se ne poko chwa, Ba, Wa ne kase ane yore ka bebe, Wa bieke, Wa yemi yare, Yon yon so bo, Bren bren ne, ine kasa ne chwa ka bebe, choche, e so eke. Wapi ki mubi a jango miye, a duko eke, a buko benna, a bo ye dugo me. Okuma, wai puka nore ka bebe, e so eke, o miye baka. Ye e moko wa, bo ma se tam no bere mo pere, miye mi ana sake, okuma na tuma mo la, tam no be ne kase ne, bara chwa wa preka, mene na ofori, wa indana ni ye eke. Ani go se, ere, Mwa si me kala toko. Mwa ka bo be obwe be na okile se se. Se wa koun se ni tam no be mwa opere. Anok ma teka me ye wa pre be ba ne. Doktor Gordon Amanga Bara. Oro fori e be be. Ok, obwe ya be. Oye wa kile se se. Mwa baka. Kerasa rabo, wanya nabo gelete ntamno, wami ya baka sebe me, ane mingba ato angreva rabo, wakirika national congress, wami na inauguration lecture mo lo, wakoko wakben, pena miye be mana yibamba buwa roto, tegenoki, bu masmi ya pora pere tuwa kerasa rabo, maka masu asagi, ida wakben, wadigi digi, ba, wapine rebya, ane kerekebo, Wa mumi na formal inauguration mo yebia. Wa maswa sike tuka wa soke. Ateli digi digi bugrele mo soke wa agbe nse wa mumi na warumala pina ba wa pina tano la kubria. Jesus Christ rabo wataka me. Amen. Okay, please, Bishop, the peace. The peace of God that passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and mind in the knowledge and love of God and of his son Jesus Christ our Lord. The, and may the blessings of God Almighty 
the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Every delegate here, baby, ba eya tag e chabu je tag for you. Every delegate here, baby, tag ibo for you. Holy, never say so e kao. Every delegate here, baby, pass to Allah Masikima. Every delegate here, baby, put on your tag. Please, Dynamic Voices International, come forward for the Hallelujah chorus. Please come forward, come forward. Please, ye mi fan besoni okele kpanji sme. Mengi Kalaina, Yekalo Pam Omna Poko Pisma. But meanwhile, the the choir come and give several renditions until the rain stops. Choir come and give renditions until the rain stops. Then tomorrow, tomorrow is 11 a.m. for 11 a.m. We want to start early and on time. Thank you very much. We want to thank one of our very respected uh, chiefs, Chiefs James Fuaifika, Triple Honorable Sir Wamba The Chairman of Council of Knights, Sir Alabo. We also thank you very well. Mina Alabo from all the Sir Wamba Kasebeme. Mina Ibe Remeni. We thank you very much. Mina Youths. We thank you very much. Ma, we are starting by 11 a.m. Bayemi, Piki Poma, Yella Time, Wami Bakasobeme. Thank you very much. Amenapo, thank you very much. My Lord Bishop, we thank you so very much. So very much, my Lord Bishop. Thank you very much. The choir, please. No, we're not. Talking. The choir, please. Organist. Look at the mic. Let's have the mic. Please. The mics, the mics for the choir.
Jabo hey, and I bought a picky, I want my dicky. 